here alongside Denzel and D. How you gentlemen doing? Doing good, man. I know it's been a while since I've been on the show, but, you know, when you work for Wild Wild, they get you by the short and curly. Yeah. You know what? Um, Chris, it's been two weeks, and, well, it's been a week, yeah, actually. Side wow. note, um, also, hello, people on Twitch. I'm streaming this show live. Yay. Um, Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> they better be launching this motherfucker. But, um, you know what, Chris? <laughs> something, man. Um, it's been two weeks, and, and um, a lot of I'm stuff mad. happened. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff happened, and I'm mad. And I say mad in only in the way of of hindsight, because the last episode you said, "Oh, Kaepernick's coming back with a question mark." I was like, "That looks so clickbaity." <laughs> hey, you know what, motherfuckers, listen, because here's the fun factor here, and I'm gonna bring this up because we actually got an email because you know. Somebody actually listens. I was genuinely shocked we got this email. Hold up. Let me, let me find it. Shit. <laughs> Somebody cares. I, I, look, trust me. We got. It was the same day that I put up the episode. Hold on, Let me find it. It should be here. It's, it's not interesting um, for people that don't really know. Like, our, our, our main listen base for, for working time, the sports show, maybe the most solid. Of yeah. all of our shows, Triple Black Geeks, we have because we would have some shows on on the Three BG podcast that just fucking tank. Yeah. Then we'll have like a, 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 a Morphin Metacast, which usually gets higher numbers than it should. Some of them tank. <laughs> Work Top Sports Show. Our, the, the listeners of this one are very constant. The numbers that we see is like, well, I expect that. And even if they dip a little bit, we were like. It's only by like twenty or forty. It's not a big deal, and we don't cry about it because it's a solid job. So, so congrats, so congrats to us, God damn it. Right, <laughs> we so have that. a constant in this of all 80, 80, 85 shows that are on <laughs> three black geeks, geeks at once. This is the only one that is fucking the line. God damn it, but whatever. All right, uh, so, wait, so uh, John Ho uh, message. Uh, hi guys. Just wanted to make a correction. Wichita State did beat Kansas in the second round of the NCAA tournament in 2015. Thank you. I thank you for that, too. 78-65 to when Wichita State was a seventh seed and Kansas was a two seed. Yep. Uh-huh. So, it, was so bad cause it, it was so bad because I thought about that. Like, no, Kansas lost that bitch. I was <laughs> sitting there really just wrecking my brain over that motherfucker, yeah? Whatever. So thank you, John. Thank you, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, John. Um, and he also said, uh, by the way, we have fantastic cameras with each other, and he loves our movie reviews. So thank you, John. Thank you for writing in on the show. Thank, Appreciate thank that. You, Appreciate um, it. It makes, makes me feel that somebody clearly loves our love us doing sports, to which I'm like, hey, 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 WTOP, can you get me and D on to do sports? That'd be great. WTOP? <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm not working for Snyder. I am not going to AM. <laughs> I am not going on 980. Hell no. That's working. Hey, 1067. Not, not doing. 1067, put us on on Saturday morning. We'll take it. <laughs> that's not funny. I'll take that bitch in a minute, man. Actually, in the morning. <laughs> no, that's the Junkies review show. On Saturday I don't morning? know what comes on after that. I don't know what comes on after that. So give me that spot. Give me that spot. <laughs> we'll cover, we'll cover uh, all the black sports just for that hour. Just give us an hour. <laughs> it was an hour. It was an hour. <laughs> just so, just so we we actually make too much noise. You know what, black people, we we're, we're not we don't take up a lot of space, but because we're black, we're loud as fuck. Just yeah. imagine we just had five of us just go to one of the studios on a weekend, and we come out all laughing, and Chad Dukes and them are just looking at like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump ahead real quick and stuff, and then we'll go to NCAA. So I, I have to kind of talk about this because it's on my mind. I gotta get it out now. Okay. As a Cowboys fan, it pleases me that finally, finally, Pandora's box has opened on Jason Garrett, and he has been exposed. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, I don't. I kind of wanna because we missed no. We missed a week. We got to nail this one thing down before we get into Jason Garrett because, oh, God, I got to go into that nigga. Yeah. But we have to clear the air about something. Me and Chris, um, nobody's seen this outside of our friends. Yeah. We have been going back and forth on this fucking Kaepernick thing over and over and over again. Now, let's make it one thing clear. Me and Chris, we 
only split up on one thing. Chris said, fuck no, I think he did everything right. I said, nigga, you didn't want to play, which is fine. And let me make that very clear, Chris. Me saying you didn't want to play is not me saying, oh, you full of shit. Oh, you full of this or whatever like that. Yeah. It's none, none of that. Yeah. None of that. I ain't with Stan Sharp and um, Skip Bayless on this. It makes you look bad in a certain way, and I don't want that for you. Yeah. That's all I was like. Because to me, to me, white people are going to think about Cap the way they want to think about him no matter what. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, so if he did the whole good old boy, not said a goddamn word, and just threw the fucking ball, and he ended up getting signed... I don't think it would have worked out for his. That would have worked out for his movement. Let's just be real, Chris. That would have did more damage to the movement. Mm-hmm. Him going out the way he did made him look worse to white people. And I know that's not saying much, but to me that hurts the movement again. Yeah. And it goes back to what you did say. You did say this, D. He's damned if he do. He's damned if he doesn't. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, and, and I can't argue it, and you know for a fact I can't argue that. Because yeah. I hate the fact that he had to go that route about it. It's like the second he moved to practice, like, this nigga don't want him. I just said it straight up. You don't want to play football. So yeah. I don't want to he- – so me personally, Cap, I love you to death, my nigga. Don't talk about you playing football ever again. Because if you want, wanted to, you wanted but to. But I also feel but it's a game. Yeah, it's I, fucking balance. I also feel – Somebody else has said best too. It's a game of chicken between Kaepernick and NFL. Let's not get it twisted. The NFL's playing chicken with Cap and was like, all right, nigga, what are you gonna do now? Exactly. And it, and it's it is kind of fucked up. And this is the oh, fucked yeah. up part about yeah. it. Is people that want to go into the narrative of Kaepernick wants to be a martyr, this play he played right into that. And I hate that. Now, Ooh, now. That. because anytime I hear that word. I shiver because it's like, because I always hate it when we do have something that starts in earnest yeah. and then it becomes about the person who started the movement and it goes right to their head. Mm-hmm. I pray to God this is not a sign of that at all because yeah. I really fucking mean that. I don't think Cap is going to let any of that go to his head, but I have seen, we have seen stronger people end up putting that shit on a t-shirt. You now, see what I'm saying, right? Now here's, the, now, here, now here's the kicker, gentlemen. And um, it's not really speculation so much as it could possibly happen. Now, last week there was rumor, there was news that no team basically responded back to Kaepernick after they sent that video, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, the other day, Kaepernick's attorney came out and was saying that there's actually two teams that's legit interested in Kaepernick. That's the shit I don't like. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's actually coming from an actual legit source. It ain't speculation. It's actually legitimate I, 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 I know. I know. But so, it's like, hey. now, now the team in question, um, and it doesn't shock me considering the moves that the owner did, um, Carolina. No. And it's mainly because of them signing Eric Reed. You know, and how, like, the owner was like, all right, we'll sign Eric Reed. He does a good job. You know, what the fuck? Like, whatever. Oh, my and stuff. God. I feel, see, I... I'm not, oh. I'm not getting hyped that he's going to get signed by Carolina, but they have a semi-interest in him, so who knows? Look, look. And see, that's... The, mm. I know, that's the... Yeah, I know, This right? is funny, mm. and this is... Again, and if you do, Dan, if you don't. Mm-hmm. Because right. you think it happen to this. You go to Carolina and don't produce. And I'm saying this. I'm saying this only for one reason. is because I do have a lot of doubts about Kaepernick. Not about his arm speed. Not about his intelligence. Not, and not even so much about his durability or game management. But you've been out the game for three years. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, of course, any good athlete can hop right back on the bike yeah. and be good. Yeah. But a part of me thinks... If you don't produce in, in, in Carolina, they're going to dog you the fuck out. Now, flip side. Oh, though, yeah. Now, flip side. Oh, I though, don't want to go to Carolina. Now, flip side of that, though, is that Carolina, at the same time, though, apparently, you know, and I think it's the Riviera also pointed out that, I guess, despite whatever ownership is saying of might expressing interest, 
They also say they're not really looking to insert a veteran quarterback right now, which I'm understanding because, you know, the whole shit with fucking, um, what's his face? No, 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 no. Y'all need a vet. Because Kyle Allen is not good. I know, but that's the thing. This is is Riviera saying it, and I'm guessing it's probably because of their whole shit with Cam Newton and them benching him and stuff. So that's probably why they're not jumping on it yet. But yeah, and I, they also, but they and also, and that's the sad part too, man. That's yeah. the real sad part. You're just gonna take another black man's place. Who, I'm quite frankly, Cam's way better than Cap in my yeah. and, opinion. And the but, is too, yeah, but still, sad. And the thing of it is too, they also said they were did, they're using this to develop Allen. And a boy Keaton actually has been the most vocal Carolina person. That's like, yo, Kyle Allen's some fucking garbage, and I love it. <laughs> Keaton. Being the Carolina fan that he is, uh, it was so funny. My One of my coworkers who was from Carolina, uh, he bought a bunch of Carolina steak knives, right? Yeah. Carolina Panther steak knives. I was like, right. I know Carolina good enough. Keaton, can you make a joke out of this? He's like, why we get that? They're just going to wear out by the fourth quarter. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Ooh. Thank you, sir. Ooh. Thank you, sir. Oh, Ke- <laughs> Yo, here's how heated Keaton was about this past Sunday. Yo, he was like, you know our fucking coaching is bad when Tony Romo can out-coach our coach. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> exactly. Joe. But all right, now, what's the other team that's that's interesting in cap, though? Allegedly the Falcons, but I'm not even going to sit there. Nobody from the Falcons even, like, admitted that. So I'm like, that looks Nobody, like speculation. I don't believe that one. I don't believe <laughs> that. I don't believe that for two reasons. Number one, oh, the blackest city in the world, Atlanta. No, no, it's not. Number Michael two, Vic doesn't it, believe that. <laughs> like, like number two, number two, there is this narrative to a lot of black um, fans mm-hmm. that the ownership in Atlanta loves us, <laughs> loves and all. And I'm like, who made this story up? <laughs> Since when? Really? <laughs> who the fuck made this story up? But you know what? You know what, Chris? Like I said, and. We can get off this right here, but like I said, there's a lot of disagreement of what happened. Yeah. My thing is, I hope Cap keeps up whatever he does. Yeah. I yeah. Mm-hmm. don't want this to be, I don't want this to be the end because I'm, because I, you know that's what the NFL hopes. Yeah. That, oh, we ain't never going to hear from that half nigga no more. So we're fine. Hey, hey, hey. Captain that's what they're hoping. Hey, look. I hope say, he keeps say what just, you Throwing it down their throat that they full of shit. I say, hope he does. Say what you will about Nike and the sweat factories and stuff. Granted, that's every fucking team. Um, but Nike's been supporting Cap through thick and thin. I gotta yeah. give I gotta give them credit. They've been supporting them. They whatever pushback they hear from people, they're like, yeah, we're still sticking with Kaepernick. I, we don't care. You're here, and Nike's doing Nike's doing the shit that most other companies do anyway. Whether it's black people boycotting them because they're gay or Chick Fil A and stuff, it's like you're still gonna buy our chicken, right? That's what Nike is. It's like, oh, you don't like the fact that we made a LBGTQ T-shirt? You're still gonna buy our fucking shoes? So shut the fuck up! Like, that's how Nike is exactly. it. <laughs> exactly. I think a lot of co- certain companies feel that way. This is that it's really sad and really obvious what's happening. And here's the thing: you and I will go back and forth on that contract the whole time because to me, it's like it's no. Di- now, the only thing I am fine with was I was fine with the contract for one reason. For one reason. Because this is like NFL players don't get no rights anyway. And yeah. I and I say that not saying just deal with it, but I kinda am. Because there are plenty of guys right now who would kill to be in that same spot of Kaepernick. Yep. You know what I mean? yep. And they would do it in a heartbeat. And I know the 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 the, the narrative is to say well, they're sellouts. They don't. They don't. They don't put no faith. You know, they don't see themselves. They don't see value in themselves. They're just gonna let the organization push them around. That's very nice to say. Mm-hmm. That is very nice to say. So, um, Each you, what are you gonna do? What would you do if all your your life, and pretty much for everybody in the NFL, all your life was down, set, hut, hut? Mm-hmm. That was full life. From age six to, I'm just going to give a generous uh, age to age 23. Mm-hmm. All you mm-hmm. know, all. Yeah. And you did tell them if you sign that contract, you're a sellout. Yeah. The fuck are they going to do? Nothing. Mm-hmm. I hate putting that. It's what Cap is doing. Only he can do that. Yeah, not too many only players. He not, can do that. not too many players can have that. Because Cap basically, he's like one of those special players that. 
he basically had the NFL by the balls from jump. So yeah. he basically the balls like despite the NFL having more of a power move over him because they are a big entity and stuff. And to be real, they do. But the they thing have is, way bigger <laughs> over him. But, but, like, but Kaepernick's also still, regardless of what the NFL does, the ball is still in his court and he's going to get the support regardless. Now, unless Kaepernick says some fuck shit, which he almost fucked himself up by saying Hillary and Trump were the same. And I'm like, yo, Cap, chill. Like, I get it, but, but chill. But I'm chill. right there, right there. He was like, okay, Cap, bring it in, man. Stop smoking weed with the best friend. Yeah, that was the, that was the <laughs> only time I was like, Cap, what are you doing? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't sink the ship, motherfucker. Like, there are a lot. See, that's the one thing I also hate because we've seen it happen with uh, ACH in yeah. um in wrestling. Oh, oh God, yeah. yeah. Let that portion of black people who hate watch wrestling, let them say, you know, they racist, they don't respect you. They racist, they racist, they racist, they racist. They don't give black people opportunity. The only reason why they gave it a new day in them because they coons, they coons, they coons. You ain't a coon, are you? And ACH let that, all that shit go to his head. Dude, he like, they don't let... <laughs> I love the line where he said they be holding us back. They don't let us win shit. I'm like, didn't you just win the breakout tournament? Time out, time out, D. <laughs> time out, D. When he said that, I'm surprised. Yo, dog. When he said that, I'm surprised Kofi Kingston didn't teleport behind him. Like, hey, dog. I just won the WWE championship. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> right. I'm surprised he didn't pull. He didn't pull that meme. Am I a joke to you? I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, like Kofi. To be like, what happened to Kofi? Oh, and. And I'm not getting in this with you, Chris. Let it go. But for no, I'm gonna hold on to it. It's just I'm not gonna be a mark about it. I'm like, this is bullshit. But okay, right. you mark about it when you hate the pay per view. Oh God, it comes out. But anyway, but oh, um, but no, <laughs> no, it comes out hard. Like Chris don't realize how fucking bitter he sounds. Like I know. I'm but in my rocking chair with a shotgun. Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> we'll fucking kill somebody. Had, no, but here's the thing. Kofi had one of the most amazing amazing runs as a motherfucking champion. He beat real competition. Mm. The only person he didn't beat outside of Brock Lesnar was John Cena. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, mm-hmm. it, it was an amazing run and people are looking at it from a fundamentally fundamental booking standpoint. Mm. Uh, Kofi was one of the best book champions in years across the board. New Japan to New Japan to WWE to the, to the motherfucking bingo hall. This nigga was booked correctly. They were on their shit with with um, motherfucking Kofi. Only bad booking decision they made was five fucking seconds. That's it. That's the only thing they did wrong in that whole run. That's why I don't get so hooked up on that shit. Because like this nigga beat this this nigga beat Randy twice. So no, I'm no, happy. that's why. Like after we had a talk Sunday, I was like, "Oh, D's probably right. He'll get a chance." I'm just like, eh, 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 but, eh. I, look, we're that. but the point is. When you listen to that one section of your fan base who don't care, yeah, let's just be. There's a lot of people right now who don't watch the NFL that's telling Cap, "You need to do this. You need to do that." Don't care about them. Them players don't care. Them players don't care. They just some, like I'm just going to guess that Cap is strong enough and smart enough to know how to, you know, curve all that. Much like Homegirl who fucked all those dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 we're So, so Jason Garrett, um, me and D, we had talked about, I think since the start of this, like, show and stuff, since the first episode, like, we've always talked about, like, we don't hate Jason Garrett, but, like, clearly you kind of could tell that Tony Romo was shielding him because Tony Romo, despite, to the detriment of the play calling from Linehan and Garrett, he was, st- he was still a good quarterback. Like, he was able to say, fuck it, I'm going to do something different. Hey guys, you follow my lead on this shit, right? Yeah, so, I get that. I get that. We we here at the Working Title Sports Show, we give Tony Romo a ninety-one when he was actually an eighty-seven. But let's just be real here. <laughs> he covered up all the dumb bullshit that was done on that offense. I had one of my friends that brought up a really good point when it came to Jason Garrett. He said, "I knew Jason Garrett was shit." Because he got Wade Phillips fired. Remember that game where they ran it only like they ran it only eight times in the entire game. Mm, and, man. And I'm like, yep. Who the play caller had that Jason goddamn Garrett? And Wade Jason Phillips is just sitting there like, fuck man, I don't do anything. <laughs> Jason Garrett 
has been co- you know it's a combination of where we got where we at. This is what happens when Jerry Jones wants to control every person. This is what you get. Yes, Daniel Snyder wants the same thing. It's just Jerry got better success at it. <laughs> and also, and also, but, let's be real about this. D. Jerry says it with his chest. Dan Snyder, not so much. <laughs> yep. Jerry says it with his chest, still using his country happy smile. His happy, these are obviously dentures smile that he gives everybody. Josh, Josh, Norman, yeah. Josh Norman probably says, fuck you to fucking Snyder. And Snyder's like, well, okay, then, go, go okay there, Norman. Uh, you have a good day. The, the, I mean. <laughs> so, actually, this is what exactly he says. So, um, Josh, are you going to have a good day? And then, man, fuck you. Okay, hell to the Redskins. <laughs> To a little tutorial on how to <laughs> oh my god but yeah yeah this nigga, and this nigga gets on my last fucking ner- look look here's the thing jason garrett i think he just used up all of his powers mm-hmm. and what we this is something i wish that we pointed out when we first started the show because we first started the show out when dak was a rookie yeah i wish we mentioned it then that jason since romo sat down and Dak came in Dak has been slow, been slowly exposing how weak of a coach he is. Oh, second season of Dak exposed it all. Oh yeah, yeah. Dak got crushed the second season. Granted, we had a good record, but still, that but, good record is the only but, reason why Garrett got stayed on for for another year as coach. And I was like, oh, you lucky we ended that season like ten and six because your ass have been done. <laughs> the reason why, the reason why that really kills me is that. It's like you get saved by – there's not even getting saved by, like, high-end talent or anything like that. It's just that you know for a fact you're not that good of a coach. And we're right. getting, look, the collecting is getting on our nerves. And that we find out that, oh, man, this defense is good. Jason, did you have any – you had nothing to do with it, did you? And then we, even with the play call, even though I'm half and half on it with Kellen Moore, Kellen Moore is way better than Jason Garrett. But I can tell yeah. with Jason – but you can tell when the coach, because coaches do that, and this is how Wade Phillips got fired. Wade Phillips just let Jason Garrett go wild. But you can tell when we're doing like, oh, pass play, pass play. Now run it the gut three times. Okay, now pass play, sweep to the right. It's like variation. One hop this time. Uh, 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 CJ, you in my head, because I was just about to say, cha-cha, real smooth. <laughs> cha-cha, real smooth. Cha Cha Real Smooth is when Jason Garrett takes over. All right, Cha Cha Real Smooth. <laughs> run up the middle, and it's fourth and look, run up the middle. It's it's third and twenty. What the fuck are you doing? It's eighteen <laughs> seconds left, nigga. Why are you running it? Dude, but we had this issue last year, because you remember uh, every sports analyst, I forgot which game it was, they were looking at Jason like, hey dog, like your quarterback actually is a pretty decent runner. Why are you not using his why are you not Showing capability. You know what happened? The following game, all of a sudden, Dak was using his legs. Oh, shit, we fucking cracked off like two-game win streak to get into the playoffs. I'm like, what was this? It doesn't make any sense. It's, it's, see, I can see there are three levels of people. There are realists, there are Shannon Sharps, and then there are motherfucking Stephen A. Smiths. Oh, realists God. are like, it's because this, this, and this. And if we did that better, that would have happened. Shit. And then Sharp is like, like Shannon will sell you off the break. That's the reason why y'all lost. But is it like, but he's coming out because of the player it's, aspect. It's, so he knows everything. He's coming out of the player aspect, and also, I know what pisses off Skip. Every time we talk about his <laughs> back being in that yes and them, yes and them. Why, why, why would he do that? Skip, 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 skip. Was he? At, was the player on the ground? So why was he throwing that ground? Then skip. Skip, this is what I'm talking about. He, he's not that good of a quarterback. See, that? that's all gimmick. That's all gimmick. I'm fine with that. Then there's Stephen A. Smith. People were like, y'all the Cowboys. Y'all suck. And just start jerking off, like, I don't know, a picture of Ben to Roethlisberger. Which, I don't know. If whatever. I'm like Max Kellerman, I'll be like, aren't you a Giants fan? Shut the fuck up, Kellerman. <laughs> but the point is this. The point is, we have – there. This, 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 a lot of the team's mediocreness, mediocreness, whatever, <laughs> Mediocreism, whatever. It comes. It really comes a lot from Jason Garrett playing in the middle. Because, Plain like we safe. said, Chris, he's not a good coach. Oh, nope. he's not a bad coach either. He's right there in the mist, soaking in mediocrity. 
That's Jason so Garrett. So he's North Turner, and basically, right? Turner? Yeah, North Turner. Thank you. And I love North Turner, by the way. You already know where I see that. Oh, like, oh God, North Turner. North Turner. Are we really, are we really going Denzel. the North Turner route? You know Denzel with his history with North Turner. <laughs> but we really it? going the route of North Turner. We are. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. I am glad Jerry Jones finally said, well, looks like play a game like this again, well, there's going to be a change here in Dallas. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I'm going to drink wine out of this hooker's ass. See you later. <laughs> Dude, I already know the scenario where he's like, Kelly, come into the office right now, son. I got to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel like being, being a head coach? For- <laughs> 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 you know, here's the thing, because no bullshit. I am not a fan of Jerry Jones, but if he approached me with a job, if first we were a job, he will have me when he says Dallas Cowboys. And it doesn't matter what job. Hey, Dwayne, I heard you got janitorial. Uh, I heard you got janitorial um, experience. Man, what the fuck you want? Would you like to clean the toilets for the Dallas Cowboys? Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> that works with the look. That same thing works with the Pittsburgh Steelers, the, the New England, the New England Patriots, the New York Giants, and. The, But yeah, I, like I said, Dallas got Buffalo, but we'll talk about that when we get to the NFL. But college football has been interesting, hasn't it? This was a decent week. Uh, the one thing I will say, uh, 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 Denzel, what is the famous words from our boy Herm Edwards? <sighs> you play to win the game. Guess what happened? They ran over them. They didn't run over. They didn't run over. <laughs> Word. Play. <laughs> was chasing these niggas the entire game. They won it. I'm so happy for the Sun Devils, man. They took out motherfucking Oregon. That was a good game. It really was because Oregon did try to make the comeback right at the very tail end of that shit. Good game, though. I liked it. Oh, man. Dog, like, I like I sat there. Penn State almost made Ohio State scared for a hot second before Ohio State was like, oh, shit, we're Ohio State. What the fuck are we scared about? <laughs> Yo, man, Penn State, are, uh, I knew Penn State was going to get to this point where they just like, oh, man, all oh, my phony, baloney, high-end talent is starting to not work for it. <laughs> for rough, guy. Yeah. For rough, for rough. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't get a harumph out of that guy. Harumph. <laughs> <laughs> Straight put you in the sand, sand dusky locker. <laughs> hey, hey, real talk, though, guys. Um, So, uh. I, I saw it on Sports Center and I laughed my ass off. So uh, Oregon, so you just let Arizona State just come up there and just smoke you guys, right? You just you just let that happen, right? That, that's what you Yo, I, I heard about that. I heard about Ooh. that in the uh, the USC UCLA game. Ooh. Now what happened with that? I didn't see that game. What happened in that one, man? Oh my god. Um. So um, so, so, so what happened was um the game was close and then third quarter happened. And UCLA said, fuck defense, and 28 unanswered points just dropped in their fucking laps. Mm-hmm. Well, this is why UCLA hasn't done shit in years. <laughs> <laughs> Prime example of the University of California of L.A. has not been doing much of the football <laughs> round in a while. It is amazing. It is amazing <sighs> what happened this weekend. Um, the one thing I did want to see is the thing that happened in, where was that, in Harvard or in Yale? The Harvard-Yale game, and, the, and there was a whole bunch of motherfucking college students that stopped the game. Pretty much to protest, what, climate change or some yeah, shit? climate change protests. That was interesting. And as yeah, the, uh, but they shut the game down. Oh, oh, as the uh, great, um, what's homeboy from uh, Daily Show? Um, black dude? Trevor Noah? No, 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 the other dude. Um, fuck, forgot his name. What, 
Yeah, Roy Wood. He was like, Roy Wood was like, this is an SEC game. You already know what time it'll happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even have to say anything else. If you know SEC, SEC games, that protest would not happen. They would have kicked them motherfuckers off the goddamn field. Like, off the goddamn field. What y'all doing out here, man? Alabama still got five more. <laughs> we still got 18 unnecessary touchdowns to make. You get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, timeout. Um, Because this is what we do on a sports show, guys. I have to get the MEAC update. Apparently, Bethune-Cookman is running away with it in the conference. Good for Bethune-Cookman because we predicted that they, hmm, excuse me, we predicted they were going to win the whole thing anyway. Well, did we? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> but, um, the point is. <laughs> shut the fuck up. The point is it. <laughs> <laughs> but they're running away with it, basically. So it's like, all right, that's that's cool. They, they, they're, doing, they're doing great and stuff. They beat Eastern Illinois 66-63. to 63, And I'm like, what is, what what is... What is a defense? What is a defense? Like, what oh, is hold a up, defense? Hold up. Time out. Hold up. I think I'm looking at the wrong one. Wow. Sorry, guys. My bad. I meant to do football. Sorry. I was looking at basketball. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? The Saints going yet. You had me thinking of these questions. Oh, okay. 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 Revisement. Yeah. Revisement here. Uh, hold on. Where is it at? I just had it up. It is. Oh. 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 Uh, Florida A&M. FAMU is first. Holy shit. <laughs> Ooh. 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 This, is a, this is a ton of events right here. Four family hey. was first. Holy shit. Right now we're gonna get some over un, over enthusiastic rattlesnake to come up to us a year. So you don't respect fam you? Nah, nigga. Why not? I'm from Maryland, dog. I don't know none of you, man. What wow <laughs> Fam you actually has some DMV people down there too. I, I know some people that was like, you have to fam you? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? They have to. They have to, right? And Howard, they apparently they're not scraping the bottom of the barrel. They're two and six. Hooray! Oh my, so wait a minute, who's on the bottom of the barrel <laughs> then? Delaware State. <laughs> you know what, man? <laughs> you know what? Y'all can't look. Look, stop laughing. First off, um, Denzel, that's not funny. That is not funny. They are going to be there there for a while. Okay, so <laughs> I mean that's hey, their. Hell, okay, Morgan you State, have at least Morgan State got two wins. They're like, fuck you, we're getting the second win. We went to some shit, nigga. <laughs> y'all, don't, y'all don't understand, guys. Like a couple of episodes back, we were talking about like, you know, black black college weekend and stuff, and Morgan State got actually won a game. They won their homecoming game. It's like, oh, they actually won a homecoming game. Right. They was riding off the hype and there was a lot of noise. It was a good time for black football. Yeah, I said the black football. <laughs> it was it was wonderful. So, of course, they was going to win that game. They ain't winning nothing else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but anyways, I had to throw that out there. But, yeah, back back to uh, college, college football, the Division One college and stuff. Um, Yeah, Na- Navy won. Uh, Na- Navy won. Yeah, Navy won. Uh, Alabama, not Alabama, uh, Oklahoma, um, Oklahoma and TCU was actually a pretty decent game. But um, I didn't realize how TCU kind of looked, at least – Every time I seen TCU, they never really impressed me outside of playing a couple people. Yeah. So, you know, I really didn't have nothing to say with that. Um, to go back to last week, though, um, shout out to Baylor University doing what Baylor does best. Fucking just, I mean, I never seen nobody swallow a chicken bone like that and let it get lost <laughs> in it. Or... <laughs> let Texas come back. At the very end of that bit, they choked. It was wonderful. Amazing! It was a really good game, man. I know my boy Chad, who lives in Waco, only wants the death of Baylor University. <laughs> it's every year. Which is there, I think ever since we met Chad, he's always been like, "Yo, fuck Baylor." <laughs> just all I'm day. Like, you know, just imagine that, Chris. Just imagine that, Chris. You live in College Park, Maryland, and every time you see somebody wearing turpin shit, you just want to fuck them up. How, how, that just can seems can like be, a very fucking life. Can, can I be real, D? Maryland's like three and ten. I'm already ready to throw hands at the Maryland Turp anyway. So what are you talking about? <laughs> fucking Nebraska went into fucking damn Maryland and was like, "Hey, fuck your field yeah. and put 54 points up on them." I'm like, well, damn. Yeah. And, and look, hold on to this, man. What is that? That's 54 points, man. You can you can hold that, homie. You can go hold on that, homie. <laughs> Yo, I'm sitting. Wait, no. Well, now it's, now it's a cigarette, dog. I'll be right back. I want people to understand where I'm sitting at with Maryland football. 
Once college basketball for Maryland starts up, that's why I start phasing out, and I don't care about Maryland football anymore, especially with this band. I'm like, yo. Are you have it already? Basketball's have- already started. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You didn't know that? Oh, my God. I already, I've been left, nigga. All right. Uh, we missed something. Uh, Chris, you missed something because you always go for the MIAC, and, and I'm supposed to come back with the SWAT conference, or as I like to call it, SWAT conference. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right now. Uh, is is the is the classic, uh, Chris? Um, next week is going to uh, the on the thirtieth is going to be the classic that we all love and know, Southern University versus Grambling State. And this year, it's interesting, Chris. Uh, if Grambling wins, I think they're going to have the advantage, and they're going to win the and they're going to win the um West. A bowl spot if, too? Yes. Yeah, um, I don't know about a bowl spot. This is for the um this is for the SWAC West. Yeah. So of course. Play like the SWAC championship, but if they beat if they beat Southern, that's going to be it. They mm-hmm. they, they got the one in, they got the one in now Southern now Southern they have the advantage and all they got to do is probably just I don't know kick a couple field goals. I don't know how good Grambling is, but <laughs> <laughs> but still Grambling. Uh, remember the last time I actually talked about Grambling? They got like stomped or they lost to some shit. They mm-hmm. have been on a six game winning streak. Right now they are sitting at four and two in the conference. Southern University is sitting at five and one, mm. so that's going to be really interesting. But just real talk, and all my motherfuckers that do, all, all my peoples, which I don't know one person that goes to uh, Elkhorn State, Elkhorn State, Elkhorn State. Uh, 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 y'all sitting pretty right now. Y'all probably going to win the whole swag anyway. So uh, I'm just going to say I'm predicting them to win. But Chris, I am going to. I'm gonna have to be forced next year to always root for Alabama State because my two nieces got accepted there and I have to root root for them from here on out. So Mm. so my babies are going going to Alabama State or they're going to A&M. I got to make sure about that before. (laughs) We we must must be remiss if we didn't uh, bring this up. Um, Holy Cross and um, Lafayette are going to be battling for the Patriot League uh, tournament two conference uh title two. Ooh, wait a minute, Lafayette and who? Lafayette? Not Lafayette? Yeah, Lafayette and uh Holy Cross. Alright, go ahead, Holy Cross. <laughs> I forgot I'm going for them, man. Yeah. So uh so yeah, uh I'm looking you know what actually is it, we're getting to the bowl season anyway. Um we're getting around that time right now. Uh, right like now two more game, I think it's like two more games left this season and boom we're in the bowl season. So mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah. Uh, the next game, like I'm looking at the ACC, is going to be an important game for Virginia because Virginia, I mean Virginia Tech, they're going to have to face Virginia. They're in the same situation. Whoever wins that game is going to win the ACC Coastal, and they're going to go to the ACC Championship on the uh, ACC Atlantic. That's all Clemson. So basically, whoever wins between the Hokies and the Cavaliers, they're going to get slaughtered by the fucking Clemson Tigers. That's yeah. just going to happen. Oh yeah. By the way, by the way, before I get off the ACC, hey yo. Hey, yo, Miami. Hey, Miami. Hey, Miami. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. And that's when I get that long stick and just poke them. Hey, hey. So you just going to let um, Florida International just beat you? Why you getting violent, nigga? Why you getting violent? You shouldn't say that for the Panthers, nigga. Not me. <laughs> God, they were some trash this year, man. man. Why? Man, but anyway, um, the way it's looking like the way it's looking like Oklahoma is going to win the Big Twelve. The Big Ten is going to be interesting because we still got to sit through um, Michigan, and Ohio State, but Ohio State should win that. Should because they because they got the East locked down. The West, on the other hand, is um, looking pretty tense because that's um miss that's minus, but that's coming down to a to a thick game too. The thirtieth is going to be lit because because it's between Minnesota and uh, Wisconsin. Yeah. And I'm just gonna guess whoever wins that game is gonna go to the um go go to the conference finals, man. So because the way it's looking uh, with them, Wisconsin is six and two, Minnesota is seven and one in the conference. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna guess whoever wins that one or whatever the tiebreak is. I'm sorry I didn't sit down and see what the tiebreak is. I ain't got time for that shit, y'all. But um that's gonna be an interesting game too, man. So yeah, yeah, we got some good setups already, man. Yeah, we really. College football is getting to that point. Um, but um, wait a minute, Georgia and Florida didn't play. I thought they already played. No, they did not. Nah. 
It's gonna be Florida. It's gonna be Florida versus Florida State. Georgia got one. What's their last game? Oh yeah, yeah. They got two more games. I forgot. They gotta go against Georgia Tech this weekend, and the week after that, they gotta go. Uh, and I think that's the. I think that's the conference championship. I think it's already set. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's already set. Let's do versus um on um, Georgia. Huh. That's gonna be the fucking game right there, bro. Yeah, but um, uh, whoever so, wins that, I got winning the whole damn thing, man. Yeah, I really. Even though, let's just be real, Georgia ain't gonna win it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Georgia's not gonna win it. Um, um, so NBA here. Uh, hey D, Wizards are starting to creep up towards five hundred. Hey, I told you, Chris. This is what happens when you have a shitty ass team. It's a little <laughs> thing to make you happy. So oh, I was happy. I was like, oh, Wizards cr- cracked off a good three game win streak before losing to the Kings. All right, five and nine. I'll take yeah, that. Look, something. Look, 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 look. Why it had to be the Kings and we lost? <laughs> I know, right? Yo, hey, time out. Did you, did you hear the pettiness that happened with the Kings where Vladi didn't want to take one of the players because he's still beefing with the player's dad or some shit? Wait, wait, wait. Was... Wait, no, I vaguely heard about this. What's going on? What's the whole story about? Because I heard that Vladi was doing his back and forth with one of the players about getting them signed, but he couldn't because he was about to fight one of the players. What happened with that, man? Hold on, let me find it. Let me, let me find this. Hold up. Actually, it's not a three-game winning streak. It's a two-game winning streak because we lost to the Magic. That was a good game. The Wizards and the Magic was good. The Wizards came back and just ended up, just ended up losing that thing. But, you know, getting wins over the... Timberwolves, getting wins over the Timberwolves, the Spurs, the the Hornets ain't shit. Let me make that very clear. The Hornets are back to what they were when they were the Bobcats. Oh, and Jordan, they, and, and, and Jordan is sitting there. They are who we thought they were. And Jordan is pissed, and I'm like, hey, Jordan, that's your team, dog. You you you. Hey, 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 I say I say it for you, Chris. Ain't nobody told you to get rid of Kemba. <laughs> well, Jordan, hey. th- Jordan thinks he knows better. That's basically what it is. Hey, nobody told you, hey, yo, make us win if we release Kimba Walker out of his contract. Or Kimba was like, no, get me the fuck out of Charlotte. <laughs> oh, I'm man. going with better on that one, Chris. <laughs> Hold on, there it is. Uh, oh, Vladi Divac didn't like Luca's dad, and that's why the Sacramento Kings didn't draft Luca. Wow. Luca? Wow. Yep. Uh, who has... By the way, I meant to tell you, I meant to talk about Luca. He's he. I I want him to prove me wrong so much because everybody was already crowning him to be like. And I'm not saying he's going to be just like Dirk, but he's going to be the next foreign white boy that takes over the world. Apparently, Vladi was like he didn't like Luca's dad and thought the log. His logic was, well, maybe the son's like the dad. Fuck him. We ain't taking him. I'm like, God damn, dude. <laughs> Well, I got a question. I got a question. This is this is like the fourth story I done heard of Lottie clearly not knowing how to be a manager of basketball. Why is Sacramento still paying him? Because, you know, that, that dream team of him and Chris Webber is still raining high there, so you know. He still tried look, the whole thing that went down even I I don't know the whole details about that. Even the shit that went down with him and Boogie. When Boogie was there in um, Sacramento, he didn't really like him like that or some shit like that. I'm like, this motherfucker's running off all the talent that they could have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's amazing, man. It's amazing how how fucking trash he you is. Shoot himself man. in the foot. Um, speaking of which, a uh, really really good, uh, really really good game between the um, Celtics and the um, Clippers, man. That was a good game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate to be like every other analyst, but oh man, the Clippers look so good. They look so good. They look so efficient right now, man. Did you hear about like so? And this is kind of something that is kind of interesting with the stories that's coming out and stuff. Um, like apparently, a lot of NBA teams are resting their players, like the load management and all that stuff, because of the schedule. And about like how like the Clippers they've been sitting. Uh, Kawhi a couple of games and stuff on nationally televised games by the way and people were like well you can't rest them and stuff and I, I think you can rest the player but like somehow there's a violation apparently there's a violation for arrest there's a resting policy in the NBA I didn't fucking know this shit a resting policy? Yeah. I didn't know there was a resting policy I think they said, I think- they said basically they rest them for basically 
the Clippers aren't in any sort of violation, but the violation is basically there's a league resting policy that was implemented back in 2017, and basically you get fined a hundred thousand hundred thousand dollars. Oh, so it's the LeBron rule. Got it. But but since it's Leonard all- is actually like legit injured because he had a sore knee, which that's a real thing. Yeah, you know that's he. They can they can sit him down and be like, nah, we're just gonna Don't sit him you down. Think that is. That sounds like a TV contract type of deal. Yeah. Where it's like we got your team on television and you can't put your star player out there because of some shitty low management. But, thing. Here's the thing. But, but go ahead, go ahead. Go but, ahead. but plot twist. Uh, the Clippers got fined 50, 50 grand because Doc Rivers came out and was like, yeah, Leonard, you know, he feels great. And I'm like, what? Because he said Kawhi Leonard feels great. They got fined fifty k because it gives off the vibe that he wasn't really injured. Mm. Uh, look, see, it's kind of funny when it comes to load management. Anyway, um, I think what people are really realizing is that you kind of do need that in sports. They've been doing load management in the NBA for for quite a while. Anyway, it's just that anytime your star starts doing that shit, everybody's going to talk about it more. Mm-hmm. So when LeBron started saying, no, I'm not playing tonight's game, and everybody made an outrage, like, how? Come on, man. Michael Jordan never sat down. You know, shit like that, right? Like, I think people don't take into account, like, no, you just want to say your body. There's a reason why LeBron never, didn't get hurt until his last season. The motherfucker just let this past season, because the motherfucker knew how to take care of his body. If you're not feeling right as an athlete, don't go out there and play. If you think, that if you're a coach, and you think you've been giving that one player way too many minutes, and you need to Need to have him like give him a, like a rest, fucking almost a mental break. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. Also, but the league <laughs> also. But it's funny that the league also they give leeway for like chronic like pe- players with chronic injury, like Mister Glass himself. Fucking uh, what's his face? What's what's D Rose? Yeah, D Rose. They give leeway to those kind of people because it's like we understand shit happens. Like yeah. you know. Yeah. So yeah, I think. It's like money ball, Chris. Uh, load management is easier in baseball. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a lot easier in baseball to do load management. I think the same thing in um, soccer, but they don't really implement it a lot too much in soccer because nah. one game uh, one game without your main uh, striker, defender, or motherfucking center fielder, you're getting ate up that game. Mm-hmm. And, it, you know, so it's, it's weird how they do um, load management across the board. Football is the only one that kind of needs it more than anybody to me. Yeah. Did y'all hear that? Rumor? Then again, all sixteen games fucking. That's weird. How all sixteen games fucking matter, yeah. So you kind of need everybody out there as much as possible. I mean, did y'all hear that rumor about like the NBA going to like seventy eight games or something like that? I heard about that. They was up. It was up for uh uh. I don't know what or I don't think it had anything to do with the CBA yet. But they was talking about um. that they was talking about having a a a, a regular season tournament. Why? And, why? Okay, and 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 reseeding people when the playoffs come. Okay, what? Me, hold up, hold up. I'm going to defend all this, but I'm going to tell you what. I, but I'm going to tell you first what I'm for. I'm for 78 games. 82 games is just a lot. That's a lot of fucking games, and I don't think a lot of people realize how many fucking games 82 games are. That's a lot of four fucking less games. games. Four less games is not going to hurt, guys. <laughs> Four well, less games is not going to kill the NBA. Okay, that's fine. The inner, the the, the regular season tournament. I'm for it. Dude, you're for the NBA G1 Classic. You're really for that. I hate to say it. I'm for <laughs> it. I'm a sucker because D. I'm a sucker for tournaments. I'm a su- sucker for cups. So they should have that lead up to the uh, the, the NBA. Uh... NBA weekend, if they're going to do that. The NBA weekend, yeah, I think the same thing too. But that's th- you got to think about it. That kind of eliminates the whole fucking point of not only a preseason, but it also eliminates the point of you trying to lower the, the number, of, the amount of games during the season. That yeah. goes against because you got to think about it. If, if it's a thirty, if it's a dirt, it's going to be a thirty-team all uh, tournament. You're going to have to have. Uh, you're going to have to have. Let's just go with a good example. Uh, this is your team, the Lakers. The Lakers mm-hmm. are probably taking all the way to, like, they're going to make it back. Wait a minute, that's only, wait a minute. It's 32 teams in the NBA, right? Yeah, something like that. 
Mm-hmm. So one, let's just let's just go all the way to the finals. First round, second round, no, first round, Sweet Sixteen, Elite Eight, Final Four. That's only five games. Yeah, just about. That's only five games, actually. Mm-hmm. No, right yeah. Eliminate them. Bring in the tournament games. You're fine. Nothing is lost. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Now I do get how everybody feels about that, though, saying that you know there's a rush for it on that. I think what you just said, Chris, if you had those five games run concurrent with all the rest of the games going towards the All-Star weekend, and then y'all play like, I don't know, that Thursday night, why not? And make it special and make it like a three-on-three half-court game or some shit like that. I I, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. (laughs) It'd be a regular game. Just put some stakes on it and have a real pretty trophy. Trophy. That's all you need. And there you go. Now, the reseeding thing, I am for and against it. Only for one reason. If I'm a, if I'm on the West, all the West Coast teams are going to be the, going to be the top teams, man. That's yeah. so unfair. And think about it. If they, you're the they're trying to do it like the WNBA. That's basically what they're trying to do. And I, you, know, you can do that in the WNBA. It makes more sense for them. But you do that in the, this is All right, let's just go with it. The Let's just say the Bucks are the number one seed. More than likely, they're going to drop to fifth. When the playoffs get fought, get reformed, we be well, safe. Well, can I be real about this? If you, fair, yeah, I mean, if you really look at it right now, if you look at who's top right now, so right now in the East, you got the Bucks, Miami, Boston, Toronto. Miami's up there? 12 and 4. Yeah, it's up there. I don't know why. I feel like Miami been losing games left and right. Anyway, um, go ahead. <laughs> um, Miami, yeah, Boston, Miami, Milwaukee, Toronto. And then you got Philly eleven and six and Pacers ten and six. So that the decent records, right? No way, no, mm-hmm. no, no, Chris, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Let, give me, give me one second. Let me pull up last year's uh, standings, you know? oh, no, I'm just talking <laughs> this year's standings in terms of them trying to recede it because right now, because I mean, if you go last year's, the only team that was probably gonna go in was like what Toronto, maybe fucking Philly. Nah, nah, nah. nah. All right, let's just look at this right here. Let me just look at it right here. So. Uh, Toronto would have ended up being in. Wow, last year wasn't that bad. I actually kind of go for this. First seed would be on. Uh, first seed would be the Rockets. Second seed would be the uh, Warriors. The third mm-hmm. seed be the Raptors. The fourth seed would be the Celtics. The fifth would be the Seventy uh, Sixers. The sixth would have been the Blazers, and so on and so on and so on. Huh? Really? Actually, that would have limit. See, here's the problem. I, it would definitely. I didn't know. <laughs> it would def it would definitely eliminate Brooklyn, Orlando, and Detroit from the mix. Now, now, now that's still they're going with sixteen teams. Oh, okay. if they're still going with sixteen teams, I get it. There will probably be too many on one side. It is opposed too to the other side. side. Yeah, it's, it's way too goddamn lopsided to do that. And let's just be honest. And let's be honest. The, while the West is very healthy and there's true competition in the West, the East is always going to be hot top heavy. The top four teams are going to be punching, each, be knocking each other out until they get up. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just going to happen to me. So I'm for this, and I'm I'm against it. I'm for it in the sense of I think it would do a, do a lot of teams good. It will kind of bring up the play a little bit, but then again, bring up the play doesn't mean your GM is, GMs are going to bring in talent to certain teams and make it, and utilize them correctly. Because all it is is all it is really what it makes me feel that. It kind of makes me feel that there should be relegation in the NBA, but at the same time, no. No. I don't think there should be relegation. Now, the NFL, we need relegation in the NFL. Mm-hmm. We straight up do. The, the bottom four teams need to go fuck off. It didn't bring in, I don't know, four good-ass college teams. Whoever makes it to the bowl game, to, to the, uh, the, uh, the top four, need to come in. Because, good Lord, I'm, I'm sick of this shit every year, Chris. I am. So, it's all like... Think about it. If your team's been sucky, they've been sucky for a while. And every time you see the Jets have a bad game, you're thinking to yourself, we need relegation. Because these niggas don't need to be on the field no more. <laughs> I mean, so anyways, um, I guess going to the NFL. Um, so I cracked it. I put a joke inside of our group chat. And I initially said, sorry, Denzel. But then thinking back on this stuff, I laughed at that fucking comic. So Denzel and a lot of other commentators are saying this. Um, what's your feelings on Philip Rivers? Like, where, where do you stand with that at this point? Phil, 
see, he's in that. He's in that. I see Phil as like that middle road area where <laughs> he still has moments. He has some moments in this season that he still has it, and then and he can still throw up, you know, MVP like numbers. Yeah. And then he has also had moments this season where he's shooting himself in the foot, as the past two games have shown everyone. <laughs> Oakland I, and Kansas City. And this, um, is, and this is not me trying to make it sound like, oh, you fuck your team, man. But I never seen. <laughs> no, real talk. I have never seen Phil Rivers look this bad ever. At least, at least for me, tracking him, I never seen him look this bad. These, they're not even the last two games. Denzel, with all respect, it's been the whole season. Yeah, it's been a week for him. Hey, mm-hmm. um, I never seen him this bad. I think the kids are getting to him. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the kids. It's, you sure, Denzel? <laughs> I'm sure. Don't blame it on the woman. That's fucked up, Chris. I said blame on the kids. It's like, goddamn kids. I'm trying to stay in this tape. What are you doing here? Motherfucker trying to try to read a playbook. Can't kick. Son of Drew, son of Drew, motherfucking Godzilla on the front of it. <laughs> you just sit on the toilet to study. It's like, God damn it, kids. Oh, Lord. But yeah, but it's not. It's not. It's not the kids. It's it's one. It's the fact that nine times out of ten, it's the play calling. You know, play calling, and he's passing it to people that really is like that. Like you look at the scenario. It's a bad pass. Case yeah. in point, Austin Eckler. Why are you throwing it to Austin Eckler when he is three <laughs> inches shorter than the guy that's covering him? <sighs> oh, man, that was... So- slips that he's doing, man. And hey, you know what? Now, 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 tell me this, Denzel, because I said this about Tony Romo. This motherfucker can't play defense either. So, is it the lack of Darwin James? Does that have a little bit of effect on the team as a whole? It's not just Derwin James. It's injuries itself. You know, it's not it's not just, you know, Derwin James out. You know, like we had uh, Okung, uh, the guy on the O-line, like the veteran on the O-line, he's out. Um, you have, you know, Derwin James and Adrian and Adrian Phillips. Um, yes, they're, they should be coming. They're, they're coming back because um, they showed that they were in practice with the team, you know, like uniform and all practicing with them this this week so plus Derwin was supposed to come back after the Kansas after the bye anyway um so and then I think Perryman was is out for a couple for a couple weeks um you know there was a couple times where we didn't have Melvin Ingram you know so it's not just you know like oh we're missing one person no it's injury like the Chargers or as we all call them the Diamond Dogs has been injury prone this whole time, you know, and nine times out of 10, they have, it's a 50, 50 where even if we're injured, we can still produce and knock it out the park. You know, take last year, we were 12 and four. Yeah. We were injury prone, but we still was able to adapt to the injuries and then just knock it out the park with everyone, you know, but it seems like this year we got the same people. Yeah. We may have, we may have lost a couple people like, Tyrell Williams going to the Oakland Raiders, but but we're not going to go there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, but we still got other core receiving people, and we got people in the depth pool that we can pull, but like, hey, how about you come in for, to, to do something? So, it's not just, it's not just, like, missing one person. It's the fact that, you know, once the ball starts rolling, then we roll, but once we start fumbling the ball, we can't get it back. Y'all had the and Chiefs. we can't, we can't get that Chiefs. momentum. Y'all had and the Chiefs. Momentum. Y'all had the Chiefs. I was like, damn it. We had, <laughs> dude, if you look at all of our losses, we've had everyone that we've lost to this season. Because we, we, because most times we've lost by seven points. I think there was one time we lost by three points. I think there was one time we lost by two points. Yeah, the so, Oakland one was heartbreaking. I'm like, y'all should have beat Oakland. Yeah. And, oh, my God, don't get me started on that because I was watching that Thursday. Even though I was at work, I had, had the, the game on M, on the Yahoo Sports because of the fantasy. Josh Jacobs ran up. The, the, no one closed the hole. 
that led Josh Jacobs to that touchdown that had him go up 26 to 24. Yeah. No one. The O line or the D line left them wide open. The linebackers, nothing. Yep. The secondary, no one was like, we're going to close the gap to stop him from running. No one decided to close the gap. And so, so it's like, we got to talk to Gus Bradley. Um, we got rid of Ken Wisenhunt, which, by the way, I was never, like, which I questioned why they bring him back after he left us when we had Mike McCoy. I still don't know why. That's, that was weird. When he already got fired, like, wait, why is he there? <laughs> because he was with he was with us when we when we were in the playoffs. It was um and then he left when it was like Mike McCoy was like first or second year with the team. He left to become a head coach for Tennessee because that's what everyone was talking about. You know, like here we are, we're killing it, we're killing it in the wild card. We're we're going up against everyone. Next thing you know, we're going up against Denver and all everyone is talking about. They're not talking about how the Chargers are in the playoffs and all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. No, they're talking about, uh, so Ken Wisenhunt is, while the game is playing, they're talking about Ken Wisenhunt has a meeting with Tennessee and Detroit and all these other teams. And I'm like, bro, like, we're in the playoffs. Why are you even talking about, you know, going to another team when the team that you're supposed to be the offensive coordinator oh, for man. is in the playoffs, so then don't, he leaves. I mean, don't you wait? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wait for that shit. No. Nope. So, so that's, that's what I'm saying. Like he shot. Like, he sat. I feel like he sabotaged that playoff run before he left to coach for ten, uh, Tennessee because we was killing people, and then we get to Denver. And we, like, he just stunk up. The offense just was just stinking it up. And then he leaves to go to coach for Tennessee. And then he stinks. So then he comes back with his tail between his legs. And then back when we got Anthony Lynn. And then it's like, oh, yo, oh, we got Ken Winter. And I'm like, why? <laughs> Do you guys not remember how dirty he did us when we was going up against Peyton Manning? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, but he does be making these bomb plays where we just be just throw it down the field, and all of a sudden, Keen Allen be doing this. Little, I mean, come on, you can't deny that Kenny be making us look good. So why is you mad at it, Denzel? I mean, why you gotta be a hater if he want to come back? I mean, he like he didn't win games with us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. You need you need to say yeah. that. You have to say that as Donald Trump because it comes off a lot condescending and better. Uh, I don't know. I can't Donald Trump this way. This sounds like like <clears throat> when they'll just describe it. Sound like a bunch of them were being hoes about it. I mean, this nigga did do me dirty. Oh, to oh, everyone, I was the only one. The Chargers posted it on their official Facebook that you know they we brought back Kim Wisenhunt. I was like, why? <laughs> was it this the guy? I posted it on the Chargers uh, when they on the link a comment on the on the on the post. I was like, this guy left us when we were in the playoffs against Denver, which led to Denver winning the Super Bowl later on that year. He left us to coach for Tennessee, and now all of a sudden we gonna forget about how dirty he did us. Mm. And then everyone was like, oh, oh, why are you saying that? You're just a hater. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Come on now. You ain't no real fan. I go, no, I am a real fan because I don't forget what this fool did to us. Yeah. It's funny how fan makes it do that, man. It is funny how short-sighted a lot of fans get when it comes, like, especially, like, we don't get that with coaches a lot, but we get that with players. Like, that nigga didn't do shit when he was here. Nope. Why, why y'all getting excited? Like, like, just imagine if Jason went and had the numbers of I don't know Chris. This just doesn't make. This is just my my stab for today because we're going to get to them. But let's just say Jason went and had the same numbers as Chris Cooley. Why are we getting them back? Why 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 are we getting them back? Why do you want them back? Like that's that's how I feel. But but we see that all the time with like former players come back to the team and like and they didn't do shit when he was in. You know what I mean? He like that. So I I I question fan bases when we do shit like that. Ken Wisenhut getting re getting rehired <laughs> made no sense. Look, the Diamond Dogs are not even despite y'all being four and seven. All right, let me make it very clear. Y'all not making the playoffs this year. 
No, that, we're not. That is not happening. Just you know, so. And, and you want to know who I'm scared for? I'm scared who? for Anthony. I'm scared who? for Anthony. Why? Because no, because as good as a coach as he is, because we've seen, you know. Oh so, yeah. Yeah, that this like there's been so many plays this year that, and I, and if I know Dean Spanos like I know Dean Spanos, Anthony's probably gone. This season, like, going like, and and we're supposed to be going into that new stadium next year or whatever. I feel, I feel like Dean is gonna give Anthony his pink pa- his pink papers, <laughs> at, and 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 Dang go that. get I mean, someone else. And to, for me, it's like it sucks because Anthony has been doing like he has two he has two winning seasons. Last year, he took us into the Super Bowl or not Super Bowl the playoffs. The, the the divisional round, you know, and and now because of the fact that you know we deal we was deal with Kim Wizard Hunt and then we got rid of him. Um, Gus Bradley, he still like he still needs to do some. We need to do something with Gus because sometimes Gus has moments where, as a defensive coordinator, he is a genius. If you don't believe me, look at the Green Bay game. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Green Bay game, and we shut Aaron Rodgers down. We shut Aaron Rodgers down, and we didn't let Aaron Rodgers or Aaron Jones or any of those any of anybody on the offense for Green Bay just go go ham on us. Um, we ran through their defense like crazy. Um, but I'm just like, like, this is not a good look because I feel like I have a gut feeling that. Anthony Lynn might be gone because of this one bad season. And I'm just like, <sighs> and if he's not gone this year, I have another gut feeling that he may be, like, if they stink it up again next year, he may be gone. Mm, that would suck. It would suck because he's a good, he's a good coach. Yeah. Like, and, and from, from what I've seen from the, from the, the Chargers backstage stuff that they have, which is, almost like their their version of hard knocks. And you just see like, you know, like backstage stuff and all that. Yo, A Lynn is a really good dude. He's a really good dude. I mean the dude opened up a school in I think it was like Zimbabwe or something. something wow. Like that. Yeah. He spent like where everyone else was on vacation, all these different places, whatever. He was like, yo, I'm gonna spend my vacation opening up a, a school in Africa. I was like, okay Lynn, I see you. <laughs> so I think um uh, I will say this. I will say this though. Um what is the percentage he come back next year? What is your percentage you think he comes back? I'm gonna say brutally honest. I'm I, honest. I'm, I, I, I'm brutally honest, I say he has a sixty percent chance of coming back. Because like, like I said, if I know Dean Spanos, if I know front management like I know the front office management of the Chargers. Dean Spanos, Anthony Lynn got about a 60% chance that he's staying as the head coach going into next year. Because there's a good chunk that he, they, like, because you got to look at the elements you just said. New stadium, um, we just had a shitty season, we want to start everything off on the right foot. Be honest with you, I don't think nobody in L.A. still wants the Chargers. So I don't No think- one wants the Chargers. No, like, no. L.A. does not want the Chargers. I mean, like, and then there was rumors talking about, you know, like, the rumor that we're going to go to London. And then, <laughs> and then Dean Spano was talking about, we ain't, we ain't moving, we're not going to do that. And they, they, they leaked the, the audio of him saying that, it was like at a conference call or whatever. And I'm like, and then the Chargers, uh, Twitter and Instagram, uh, po- uploading the clip from the Wolf of Wall Street. And I'm like, uh, did you guys really see that movie? Because, uh... Doesn't turn out like that. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's you know what that is. That's grasping for straws, man. Trying to see, if, oh, man, we can, we're still good. It's what I call what I what I tell Chris, and Chris is probably sick of me saying this. It is the it is the flying barbecue pig where Homer is like, it's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> I mean, so. So let's get into since, since, we're, since we're talking about since since we're, since we're already on the West Coast, um, 
So Rams, you just let the Baltimore Ravens roll up there with their fucking Old Bay seasoning team and whoop your ass <laughs> 45 to 6. I, I, I got a question. I got a real good question. And this is a and we asked this question last year several times when it came to these teams that were either on the cuffs of going to the playoffs or right below, or right on like tap dancing on the line of mediocrity. What the fuck are the Rams? You know, they had hope for a minute. Oh, they 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 were they were cruising to where they were been they were basically wild card bubble, basically. And I feel they still there, but good God! No, oh, 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 sir, 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 sir. They need help right now. Two weeks yeah. ago, oh, they were fine. They were perfect. They, they, whatever. No, they need help at this point. Because when you have Se- uh, when you have Seattle and the 49ers fighting for first, and you're sitting back three games back, oh, you're fighting for a wild card spot. You need but help you know, badly. But you know what doesn't help it? Two interceptions from Goff. Which I gotta say, Jared Goff, you were worth every cent. And I kissed him. <laughs> you know what? You know what? He was worth every penny. You know, you know and that's what you do that little, thing, that's what you do little condescending thing where you put your hand on, you put your arm over his shoulder, and you kiss him on the forehead. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I just look. I love Dak. I kind of see why Jerry didn't throw a fucking contract up just yet because of the golf shit. It's like, ooh, ooh. Because no. golf and a couple of quarterbacks, this is what I'm talking about. You know what else is striking me as odd? 22 yards from Gurley. But you know what's even more fun about that? If you're a Redskin fan, you should be clicking your heels. Ha! Fuck you, McVay. You don't know how to coach. Because Gurley only got the ball six times. <laughs> He pulled a fucking yo did yo did the coach really pull a fucking Jason Garrett and was like yeah we just gonna run that shit your Yes he did my nigga. Wow. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile Lamar Jackson yo meanwhile number one RG three sitting on the sidelines like yo I'm gonna collect this check get into the playoffs hopefully we get a Super Bowl win and I can ride off into the sunset. You wanna know the best part about how they won? Oh, Jackson didn't throw over 200 yards. This is what made me now, laugh. Now. This is what made me laugh at Shannon Sharp. Shannon, like I said, he loves taking the piss out of Dak Prescott. But then here comes Lamar Jackson. You see how bad he is. You see how bad he is. And then Skip, be on his shit, Skip. I, I saw that only 100. Shut up, Skip. He threw five touchdowns. Now, 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 somebody, now somebody <laughs> said it best, right? They said they're scared of the Ravens being so good because watch they play the Patriots and all of a sudden Lamar throws for like 90 yards and they fucking lose. And it's like, fuck you, dude. Don't put that on the Ravens. Don't you dare put that on the Ravens. When it comes to the Ravens, they haven't been exposed yet. So good I for them. I don't want it to be the Patriots, though. It's like, no, I don't need that no. in my life. <laughs> no. no. Certain teams that need to cleanse you. So I hope it ain't them because if the Patriots expose them, you know how Belichick is. Belichick is going to make the whole world see it. <laughs> At out, that point, out. you have no career. Out of the four, get five games that's left. You know the team that I want them to want that to happen to. Fuck it. I'd rather be the Jets. Fuck it. The Jets get lucky or something like that. In the, in the... <laughs> are you telling me the Jets are going to be the ones that expose? <laughs> It'd be something so stupid. It's like how the fuck the Jets win? What the hell did this come from? <laughs> Now, next week is going to be a big game because that's against the 49ers. I don't think that'd be the exposure game. I'm surprised expo- they didn't get flexed to a night game, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, too. I'm, I'm shocked, but no, we ain't in the flex mode yet. Flex mode doesn't happen until, like, the last three, three um, games of the season or some shit. But, yeah. um, but still, that being said, I will say this. If there is a team that's going to expose the living hell out of them, it will be in a game that doesn't matter. So It'll the, be the last, last game against the Steelers is what you're saying. Because, and if I know anything about this rivalry, Pittsburgh has a way of making the Ravens look so <laughs> fucking weak. They have this way. Like, the Ravens would end up winning the game, but Pittsburgh leaves the stadium like, see how bitch they are, right? <laughs> well, you guys didn't make the playoffs. Don't matter. We're in. <laughs> like, stop being scared of them niggas. Get the motherfuckers. You saw how we beat them. <laughs> like, like, I see that happening to them. It probably won't happen this season, though. I yeah. think, and I say that because I really want Lamar Jackson to work. Oh. But one thing has been 
one thing has been almost, at least so far for me, been proven. He can't beat nobody with his arm. Yeah, right. it's, it's gonna be a mi- I, it's gonna be a mix of his legs, his arms, and the running game. That play, uh, it, it, when you have these offenses like this, man, they are so dangerous. They are so dangerous because you don't know where they're coming it from. May, now it may, it may be a dash of RG three for a couple plays. That's about it. Yeah, it, it's, it's really hard to deal with shit like that. Yeah, and it's fun, what, but the problem about it to me is it doesn't last long. It, it really doesn't last long. The, the the best quarterbacks learn how to adapt and evolve. And we've seen that with Russell. We've seen that with Russell Wilson. We are, we are and I'm putting money on a fuck anybody that hates on. We're seeing that with Dak right now. He's, he's oh, oh, kidding. Oh, look, look. Dan, Dan, dance, the, the Dak shuffle aside, it felt like this season, like I think that's what Skip said. It seems like Dak is betting on himself like, fuck it. All right, bet. I can throw the ball. Let's do this. Oh, that the Dak shuffle is awesome. I don't give a shit. Oh, no, that no, shit I want awesome. that shirt. By the way, I want that shirt. <laughs> yo, I saw that. I saw it. I was like, yo, Jerry can monetize anything. Anything. He can monetize it. That Dak shuffle makes – look, here's the funny thing. It's a great exercise for a quarterback, though. That is actually a great yeah. – especially, especially if you throw on the same side as Dak like that. Yeah, it's a great exercise. I get it. I get it. That shit was hilarious. Motherfucking Zeke started doing that shit when he made a touchdown. Yeah, yeah, man. But, uh, but, uh, but since we're on the West Coast too, um, I, I kind of had a love hate relationship with this game. But fuck it, Aaron Rodgers got fucking his shit pushed in by the 49ers. Dear God, yo, he did. While I still think the 49ers he punched are the 49ers the in the face. That's what I want to know. Yo. I got the 49ers. Look, the 49ers are one rainy, ugly game, ugly Sunday game away from for all of this shit falling apart. So if you are, are so if you are a 49er fan, roll with it, roll with it well, because have fun nobody with it. has have exposed. Fun. Nobody has exposed them yet. The day is coming. I don't know when, but she's a coming, 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 coming. <laughs> <Don't> know, <man. laughs> But nah, man, it's like Aaron Rodgers looked like lost as fuck that game. I was like, dear God, that was just... Ugh. It looked like they gave up, man. The whole team gave up. Boy, this, this, like, I, it's, it's... Dude, it was very hungry. zip at halftime. It was like, by then, it was like, I guess we got to pack this shit in. Fuck. Yo, it was very humbling to see the, see the um, Packers just give up just so easily, man. Especially this season where they've been coasting all season, so it's good that they lost. We, well, we did say it. somebody's going to beat them, so it was good. Good on the 49ers. Um, so, Redskins. Okay, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know um, come here, come here, come here for a second. Um, the point of the season is to tank. You're not supposed to win. All right, Haskins. I think I, I give him praise. I'm, he did. He did. His, he did okay. He ain't nothing to light the world on fire and stuff. But he did all right, you know. But they they beat the Lions and Redskins fan base. They were celebrating and um. Look, 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 look. The one interesting thing I will give is this, and this happened on the radio show. Um, who was it? It was a. Uh, a caller he called in, it was Doc Walker. And Doc Walker, I think his like his Mike Phil or some shit. But it was Doc Walker and the other white guy. I don't know the other guy's name because I don't give a shit about them. But a fan <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad for this fan. Because he was like, look, we won the game, y'all. I understand that we still got a lot of problems. Doc lost his shit. He was like, bruh, we stink. <laughs> What makes me think you can grow up from where we at? He's like, I'm not thinking. Look, look, dude, I'm celebrating for that. Yeah, that's nice that you celebrate for tonight, but we're no better than we were yesterday. We stink. It was so. Shout, shout out to the crew. You gotta understand. You, you gotta understand. I, I'm so used to hearing these motherfuckers be homers. To hear them saying, no, we're some ass is amazing. I love it, man. Shut up. <laughs> Shout outs to uh, Curls. He's in our working title sports show, uh, Fantasy League. He said it best. Dwayne Haskins has no finesse. He's going to be a lesser Jason Campbell. Mm. Oh, you think he's going to be close to Jason Campbell? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree with him. I was like, eh, I can see some Jason Campbell in him and stuff. A little bit. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> 
Oh my god. I, I saw that Yo, and I left. I I'm left. Pussy. What do you say? I said I don't see it at all, man. But I mean, that's I just it. Curl saying it and stuff. Me, I was like, he kind of looks like James Winston light a little bit, but that's just me. <laughs> James Winston I light. Mean, he, he's, not, he's not a bakery like that nigga, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's not go that far. Speaking of which, uh, <laughs> apparently the Browns are bullies because they bully the damn Dolphins. I'm a little mad I bet it on the Dolphins to win just because I wanted the Browns to shut the fuck up, but whatever. You know, Browns beat the Dolphins, whatever. Big whoop. Um, I, how many times did I tell you, Chris? Stop betting for the Dolphins, man. <laughs> the whole season. Stop. Because um, they're, 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 they're trying to make their thing free, man. You keep on trying to make them think they can win a game. What Stop nobody saw coming, though, was the Jets coming up to the fucking Raiders and punching them in the mouth and beating them. I didn't see that shit coming. Yeah, uh, it's 50-50. That was about 50-50 that was going to happen. And <laughs> shout out to my boy Sam Darnold because I heard he was big dick swinging at the club and he went home with a girl yeah, and all nigga, that shit. Nigga, it was like, hey, <laughs> hey, me. Hey, hey, guys, wouldn't you when you throw for 315 yards and three TDs? I would. <laughs> hey, man, look, look I got to say something, man. Y'all going to keep on faking on my nigga. Uh, God, that was gonna, I was going to call him Sambo. What the fuck is my problem? <laughs> Whatever, whatever. All of a sudden, Sam Darnold rolls up there in blackface. Like, hey, guys, he called me Sambo. Who? Some Sam Dallas podcast. Yep. I don't know. Like, some podcast, work with Tyler Sports Show. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Told your ass don't be listening to podcast. Man, like, <laughs> this, shit started, this shit started with the uh, All Things Considered podcast. Ain't nobody here listening to NPR. <laughs> Speaking of which, um... So we talked about this earlier, Panthers. You no, no, I got scared, Chris. Like speaking of which, NPR. Here's me. I actually kind of do listen to it. <laughs> oh, I listen to it too. Um, I I fall on NPR at the worst moments because every time I turn to NPR, and that's when you found out, and that's when you found out that there were how many rats in that building? Over fifteen thousand rats. Wow, and that's a, that's a school here in Washington, D.C. Wow, that is sad. Coming up next, Donald Trump. He eats Jews? <laughs> really? Huh? It's like, yo, why do I always turn to, to, to NPR and there's some weird white people shit going on? Or they're like at the worst ghettos in America. What is going on? So, so, um, so I'm looking at the Panthers. You almost had the Saints. Hey, nigga, almost only, almost only counts in horse horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> Horseshoe hand grenades, and let's just be honest, quick. That's the <laughs> only. T- <laughs> huh? <laughs> damn. God, damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, huh? So you, you almost had the Saints, huh? Riviera still still doing Riviera shit, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Man, Riviera is another coach that's on his way out, man. He's on. He's gone. He I don't quite, give a yo, fuck. he's a different kind of Jason. He's doing a different kind of Jason Garrett, where it's like, yo, Riviera, what the fuck you doing? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Did you know I was a part of that Super Bowl team with the Chicago Bears? Did you know about that? <laughs> yo, is he going to really go to the Panthers front office and show him the ring and to keep his job? Hey, what ring? You remember the Bears didn't win that? Oh, my bad. Sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Remember, he also went to the – he also took the Panthers to the All uh, Super Bowl. And Tom Brady blessed all of them niggas, you know? <laughs> Is the ghost of Cal Orton going to stand right next to Riviera like, hey, guys, <laughs> give him a chance. <laughs> the ghost of Cal Orton. <laughs> uh, this is present day Cal Orton. He has, like, you know, it's, you know, just a long-ass beard. He had to wash his hair. <laughs> He has a Margaritaville t-shirt on. <laughs> hey, guys, you remember when Dallas got Cal Orton and he just looked like he just wanted to be there for a check? That was fun, wasn't it? Oh, oh, he was out there for a check because when Tony got hurt one day, he got out there. Cal had this look like, I'm playing? Oh, shit. I ain't really in the playbook. Uh, we're going to run up the middle like two times until I figure out what we're going to do. Dude. And guess what happened? And guess what happened when he finally threw the ball? Pick! Yo, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. We went 8-8 eight eight that season and stuff only because 
Like, for some reason, me and you, not we weren't even part of that. There were a lot of people in the Dallas Cowboy fan contingent that thought Orton could get us into the playoffs. And I looked at y'all like, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> hey, Denzel, we're not, not playing. We're not playing. You, there were so many Kyle Orton stands. There were, I believe it, many of them. We were like, what makes you think he's better than Romo? It was just amazing how many people were. Now, granted, yes, Chris, I was part of that weird group of of uh, of uh, of uh, uh, Kellen Moore stands. I was, and then when Dak got hurt and Kellen Moore went out there, we was like, "Oh shit, you're not even a third string quarterback." You know, yes, I'll take my lumps on that one. <laughs> but but Kyle Orton one, the Kyle Orton stands. That was a thing that happened with the Dallas Cowboys. Which was weird. Oh <laughs> Which, that was, was a lot of shit that happened with our squad. <laughs> that was the that same. Yeah. No, no, that was the same year. <laughs> that was the same year John Kidd just said, fuck you, I'm going to Houston. We're going to go into playoffs. And he did. He went to the playoffs with Houston. <laughs> John Kidd was on backup, but that nigga actually blazed a couple good games, man. John Kidd was like 49, man, crushing these niggas, yeah. Uh, Yo, yeah, he was man. like fucking like, Dennis Quaid in any given Sunday. No bullshit, Chris. You find a way of bringing up an obscure quarterback that I like every single <laughs> show. Shout out to the god John Kitten. No bullshit. He was great as a motherfucking uh, Seattle Seahawks, man. He could have been better, but never had the teams around him. He was. He could have been a contender. He could have <laughs> been a contender. I don't think he was like all-star or anything, but he was solid. He was really solid, man. Yeah. Think of Brad Johnson if Brad Johnson cussed more. That was John Kidna. <laughs> John Kidna. John Kidna looked like he just soaks himself in the Epsom, Epsom salt bath every game. Like, oh, I got to get into some Epsom salt. It's crazy. John, back. Kidna, John Kidna also looked like a guy that chews a lot of tobacco. He just looks like a <laughs> guy that chews some tobacco. I don't know. Jerry, brings, Jerry, does oh. not, Jerry does not bring Kidna to office because Kidna just spits on his fucking carpet every time. Like, God damn it, Kidna. No, we got to remember, remember, remember. Now, actually, no, you're right. Because I'm like, nah, man, come on. Jerry, Jerry's an Arkansas boy. He can take that shit. And I think about that. D, he's a, he's a billionaire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He ain't taking that shit. <laughs> he's like, kid, you got dip in your mouth. Spit it out right now. No, this, no, what's this that? Not, what, what, no, here's what we're like, hey, what, what's that? What's that, Longhorn? You know you nothing but skull over here. Get that out your mouth. <laughs> you know, actually, that's how he got him in there. So I heard you. So John, I heard you like um, heard you like you know, I heard you like dip. Which one you like? Do you like skull? Is that what you like? You're a skull man. Well, actually, I am. I was, no, actually, I am. <laughs> well, luckily for you, lucky for you here at Dallas, we can give you all that as the backup quarterback. You can chew it on the field. Uh, 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 I see you reaching for it. Let me tell you something right now, Stephen. Can you leave the room real quick? Okay, John, I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't fucking play that shit. You're not chewing that n- nasty shit kicker redneck shit in my <laughs> office. <laughs> you go. You know, Jason, you know for a fact, Jerry Jones, as country as he can be, can't stand rednecks. You know he can't stand rednecks. <laughs> so, no, there's a level of bougery with Jerry. That's I respect oh, that. Yeah, but yeah, on top of that, man, you gotta think about it also just real talk, man. He was a he was a millionaire slash billionaire in the in the heyday of Dallas being full of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about Dallas to I'm talking about the city of Dallas just being just overloaded and off of oil money, you know? So come yeah. on now. You know Jerry has gotten real bougie. Now, um, so the Bills beat Denver, which isn't shocking, but um, right. I, I got to shout out to Frank Gore. This guy is breaking, his old ass is breaking fucking records. You know yeah. what, Fred? I think fist today. You know Frank Gore our age, right? I don't give a shit. He looked like, he, he looked like the age just caught up to his ass. Like, he don't look like no goddamn 34-year-old. I'm sorry. He really don't. He's a 34-year-old. But he's been running like a 27-year-old. Good oh, for him. Man. Like, especially off an of injury last year. I was like, damn, this motherfucker. Had, like, he... Look, I really thought he was done. He has proven me wrong. It's like I said, like I, I said this before when I was talking about LeBron, I think last year or the year before, whatever, like that, that we're going to see an evolution in these players in the next few years, not just in basketball, but we're going to see in the other sports too, of longevity changing up because, you know, people train differently and all the rest of that shit. And just real talk, you know, we're going to see people be a little bit more durable than it was and all the rest of that, yada, yada, yada. So I am interested of 
super interested in Frank Gore being a running back lasting this fucking Behind long. Devin Singletary, who's also mm-hmm. tearing it up too, so it's like, damn, like Bill's got a one two attack on a running game to a point. Like it's like it'll be like it'll be really interesting if we're sitting here uh, ten years from now talking about Zeke and he's still running at a hundred percent. Even even though even and I'm not gonna give him full credit. Even on um, um, Adrian Peterson to an extent has been doing the same yeah, thing. Has Adrian been, Peterson <laughs> running like he's still in his early twenties. Every time I see him, this motherfucker just beelines. I'm like, how the fuck is he still running this goddamn fast? I will say this. I think you agree with his durability has kind of caught up to him, but he's been. It ain't like he been slow running out these fuck out of the fucking gate or nothing. That. Nope. It ain't, it ain't like he ain't giving a hundred thousand percent, bro. So yeah, it is interesting seeing that there. And yeah, shout out to Frank Gore because ain't he getting close to breaking his old rank, uh, breaking a, another record, man? Uh huh. Yeah, man. It's, like I said, good for him. Um, good for him. Oh yeah. So we gotta. We haven't really been talking to, about him this much. Um, Texans are sneaking in. As like a team that I think a lot of people in the AFC are sleeping on, and they might end up upsetting some teams if they hit the playoffs. I because a lot of people, a lot of people wrote them off because they lost JJ. Yeah, yeah. And that, defense, they was like, oh. that, that defense is still holding up despite it. At the point. way they lost to the Ravens, yeah, that that's why a lot of people are kind of like, oh, they ain't good enough. But they're still a good team. Deshaun, Deshaun, Deshaun out there still. Him and De- him and Hopkins are still on fire. Like that's that's what I was, I was actually talking to someone that I was like, "Yo, Hopkins and uh, uh I and Watson, yo, that's a that's a uh a quarterback wide wide out duo that we need to be looking out for." I mean, I even, I even put Fuller in that category too. Yeah, Fuller getting a lot of catches too, man. So yeah, yeah. The, 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 the squad is still good, man. Yeah, you lose an anchor like that, like J.J. Watt, and I still mean it. I was talking to – I don't think I told you this, Chris. Did I, did I tell you this? I don't know if I said I it on the show or not, but I'll say it. Say it again. J.J., stop. stop. Just stop. Just <laughs> Go stop. home and be a family, man. Please, just do that. Dude, you are one of the most generous players, period. You were up there. The fact that, like, I'm surprised you didn't get – I'm surprised you didn't get a uh, Walter Payton Award – you know, just for breathing. You have been amazing. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Yeah. You, see, you see what I'm saying, though? Yeah. But, yeah, they, they need to do something else. Um, Bears. All right, next game. Bears, what are you? <laughs> That's all I'll say. You beat the Giants, so, to be fair, but it's you like, Bears, me. what are you? <laughs> you tell me, because they should have lost to the Giants the way they came out in that bitch, man. Well, you know, Saquon can only do so much for the Giants, so there's that. Uh, I like to talk about uh, the Titans and the Jag- Jaguars. Um, <laughs> Jags flexing hard with Big Dick Nick. That's what I'm talking about. Nigga went 32 for 48. Uh-oh, we got, we got 272. Awesome. Indeed. Did you get any touchdowns? What, nigga? <laughs> What's a touchdown? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Talk about little Fournette, man. Look real good, averaging four. Yeah, it was averaging four yards. That's how they got the score. It was Fournette. Quit hating, motherfucker. Oh yeah, and, and the Titans scored forty-two points. Well, behind Speaking behind Tannehill, which again, it's kind of heating up the AFC wild card spot because right. So, so if we're looking at this, it's it's wild. If you would have told me at the beginning of the season this was going to be a thing, I would laugh at you. So right now, um. Barring if they don't implode, Buffalo holds one of the wild card spots on lock right now. I had them fighting. Mm-hmm. Now but they got a lock from right now. now for now, right now, they- now, now you want to laugh at this, guys? How is it that the Cleveland Browns are still in playoff contention? Because the next teams that have the second wild card spot is Steelers. Raiders, Colts, Titans, and the Browns. That is going to that 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 right there. All of that's going to get shaved down real quick. That is a collision course of. I see the Colts are done. I'm sorry. I, hey, look, look, look. You know, Bo, your team's done. Sorry. Done. Now let's look at the Browns. Look at the Browns. They got to go against the Steelers next week. The Bengals, the Cardinals, the Ravens, and the Bengals again. Oh, they lose to the Ravens straight up. That that's. that's what I'm they're gonna to lose to the Ravens, and there's They'll a big the chance. Steelers. They might be the Steelers. One, one. They might be the Steelers. I oh, think and if you're the Steelers, you want to win this game mm-hmm. because 
Browns embarrassed you. Speaking of which, real quick, yes, Miles Garrett, you deserved you deserve whatever the punishment the NFL gives you. Uh, Miles Garrett, so why did you wait a whole week for you to tell everybody to, for you to tell us that he called you a nigga? Oh, time out though, D. Uh, his own teammate said he's full of shit because none of them heard the fucking slur. Look, look, hey, Chris, 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 okay? Okay, okay, look, look, listen to me. And I know you don't know this, but grass is green. So, look. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, why did you wait a whole fucking week to, you know what I'm saying? That's the shit I'm talking about. Black folk, stop that. It's like, dog. No, really got- like, it's like, dog. No, it's like, you did such a, it's like, he's like. We could believe anything you say about a white person. But don't let that be, A, your lead-in, and number two, don't bring that shit up when it don't well, matter. What pissed me off about the whole thing, well, since we did miss a couple of weeks and we didn't really talk about it, what pissed me off about that whole thing with Mason Rudolph and Miles Garrett is that you had a bunch of black people focusing on Mason Rudolph trying to take his helmet off, which is bad, that's wrong, or whatever, but I'm like, guys, 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 you guys don't realize the, 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 the play was done, and Miles Garrett decided, you know what, I'm going to throw fucking Mason Rudolph on the ground even though the ball's done. Exactly. You started the fight. And you Mason, start- if, you, if, you were, if I was in Mason Rudolph's shoes, I'd be pissed too. I'd be kicking his ass in the fucking nuts immediately. Like, yo, fuck you. I love that. Oh, man, he kicked him in the nuts. That nigga wears a cup. Next. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. everybody ignored that. And it's like, okay, yeah, Racing Rudolph should have went for the helmet. But I'm like, motherfucker, I'd be pissed too. I've been getting sacked the whole goddamn game. At some point, <laughs> you're going to be pissed off. It's 18 seconds left. You won the game 21-7. What the fuck am I going to do? Sack me at the end of the game and then flop your fat ass body on top of me. Yeah. It would have been some fucking fighting words, man. Yeah. If a nigga popped out, you probably kind of deserved it, dog. Come on, dog. You can't do that, was all on some, like, well. <laughs> no, real talk. And I got frustrated on the field before, too. But fundamentally, you don't do shit like that, bro. Yeah, you, nope. just, you just play prevent defense and you, let this, you just let this fucking shit play out. You don't fucking sack the guy like that. Won the game. And look, I would have sacked him, but ain't no way in the world I would have tossed him to the ground like that, you know? <laughs> Yo, and then, and then everybody tried to Seth Rollins' his ass where they was like, well, did you know Mason Rudolph had a girlfriend who's MAGA? And I'm like, and? What the fuck does that matter? What does it matter? Like, I love that one. I loved how they went on Mason Rudolph and tried to drag him. I'm like, look, look, and this is coming from somebody that wanted him in the NFL. He's a shitty quarterback. His life sucks already, okay? <laughs> you don't have to start bringing up how terrible a human being he is and shit like that. Like, look. Black folk, that's, uh, God, I hate that shit. God, why? But you brought the, no, he brought up the, the, and I love that, and I love how Skip Bayless uh, talked about it. He said, I appreciate all the fans are trying to say, well, he tried to pull his helmet off. I saw that. Uh, Well, he kicked him in the groin. Saw that too. But what you're missing is this. When you have a helmet and you swing it at somebody else's head, Mm-hmm. A part of that only touched him because if he hit him flush with that helmet and skipped like, and you heard Shannon would have killed him. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Why are we over here arguing about what started the fight when this dude could have? And I'm and look, and I'm and I'm and I get it. I totally get why why Miles went that way because he was caught up in the moment. It happens, but it's like yo, accept the consequences. I just. If you gonna, if you can admit that you got caught up in the moment, admit you did something stupid. Mm-hmm. You injured that man. You could have fucking like made him, not even. I won't even go far and say make him brain dead and shit like that. But you could have seriously fucking hurt him. And I'll bring it up again. And I'll bring up what Skip said. You're lucky. You're lucky because you can do this in the NFL. He didn't press charges on you. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think Mason wanted to go that far, but he definitely was <laughs> like, yo, he. Put- <laughs> Let's just be real. I think 99% of the league would never think of doing some shit like that. Yeah. But let's be real. If that thing would have hit him flesh, I think niggas on the Steelers, take that nigga to court. Take him to court. <laughs> take court. Call the cops. Call the cops because that's assault with a deadly weapon. You can get, you can do it. You can, he is lucky because it, look, it was so funny. Skip brought up like, I, I think it was in the 1990s, blah, blah, blah. And Sharon was like, yep, that happened. That happened. You can call him. Yes, you can. 
I mean, you know, there's no rule that say you can't. You were lucky he didn't press charges on you, bro. That is serious. Now, 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 that, that's that's the that's the playoff thing for AFC. NFC, like I said earlier. Like right now, Seattle and Minnesota. They're Seattle, Minnesota, and they're battling for the. Like they basically got. Well, actually, yeah, they basically got the other two slots. Dallas is kind of like they're playing with fire right now. If they don't beat the Bills this week, hopefully they do. But like mm-hmm. at this point, <laughs> da- Dallas just got to win the division. And it's a fucking done deal. They just it's just gonna be one of those. You guys know you're gonna be playing wild card weekend, right? There ain't no fucking way you're not gonna fuck. <laughs> No way you're gonna miss that open. Yeah, you, no, you ain't getting no buy. You you playing wild card weekend? <laughs> now we now you and I talked about this offline, and we can talk about it here real quick. Um, the Eagles because the Eagles and Cowboys we knew we knew coming into this year, Chris, that either A was going to happen, whoever wins the division is going to be the one to go to the playoffs, or B, it's going to be like last year. There's a possibility that both of them can make it into the wild card, and it still is very slight, but it ain't going to. This depends. Here's, the thing. Here's what it's they, dependent on. Here's what it's dependent on. Minnesota's gonna have to fucking flop like a motherfucker at the, for that to happen. Hey, 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 hey Chris. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> oh, 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 you think you think Kirk, you think Kirk Cousins is gonna be like is gonna fuck it up? <laughs> Look, not only not just Kirk Cousins, but the history of Minnesota got me going. <laughs> 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 Good luck, because I see y'all do it before, man. The, all right, like this. Technically, Falcons, Bucks, Panth- Falcons, Bucks, Lions, Cardinals, Redskins, Giants. They are already done. All well, of those teams well, are right now. Right now, D, and this oh, is because the, the NFL <laughs> is so oh. fucked up with the statistics and stuff. Technically, technically. It's really the Falcons, Giants, and, and Redskins because somehow Arizona and Detroit can win, but it's a fucking far shot for that to damn happen. At this Shit, I think the Lions are done. The Lions are three. No, no, seven. no. I'm just going by what. Oh the, yeah. I'm just going by the, by how ESPN and the NFL does the statistics and stuff. Of well, they might have to do it, but they got to run the table. And I'm like, there's no way they're gonna fucking run the table and get. Come on, dog. Like, what are we? What are we doing? <laughs> Either way in the world. Now, like, all right, go back on the Eagles. The Eagles are going to be interesting because they got to go against the Dolphins, winnable, Giants, winnable, Redskins, winnable. <laughs> then they got the Cowboys again. Hey, hey, D, that's cute that you say it's winnable against the Dolphins. I leave nothing to chance on that shit. Stop it. You better skip stop it. <laughs> you say that now, all of a sudden the fucking Miami miracle fucking happens and it's like, what the I, fuck? You, I said, you're in those games. Now, flip side, the Cowboys, who hold their destiny in their hand. The Bills, the Bears, the Rams, the Eagles, and then the Redskins. Chris, if there's only one game to drop on there, I'm looking at the Rams, I'm looking at the Bears. Those are only, One of those games is the only ones you can drop. Bold prediction okay. here. Bold prediction here. Um, I got a feeling after the fuckery against the Patriots, I might as well, I'm just going to keep it. I'm not even, we're not going to linger on that game other than Jason Garrett's coaching and two dumb nope. fucking play penalties aside. One to talk about. We only got one good thing to talk about. All respect in the world to Mr. Gilmore. Yeah. The 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 fucking performance that he put on against Amari Cooper. Yep. I hit my hat to that brother. You would get full respect from me. But cr- that <laughs> that is a shutdown. That but, is a pure shutdown. But I have to, give, but I have to give credit to Dak to not like do the thing where he was so dependent on Zeke that he forgot he had other receivers. So I gotta give it up to Cobb and Gallup for stepping up and Jarwin to a yeah. point stepping up. So I gotta give it to them. But yeah, they shut down on Mari. Mari can't do shit. Even Zeke not getting a full hundred on the ground, he ended up getting getting catches too. So good for Zeke. So everybody had a part of that game. The only thing that we can talk about is this, and it's the only thing I will talk about again about this game. Uh, Denzel, mm-hmm. what the fuck? What the fuck is tripping? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I, I saw this to Chris. I'm gonna let that first one go because if I was a ref and the way it, 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 I probably would have threw it, thinking this was clip two, but clearly no clipping at all. Fine, fine. I'm going to let that one go. Mm-hmm. That last one? Woo! 
Dude, Troy, yo, when Troy Aikman is stopping homeboy from California, like, whoa, whoa, whoa you're full of shit, guy. That's not <laughs> tripping. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Um, not Mike Pereira. Is, yeah, it's Mike Pereira. Right? Yeah, Mike, Mike Pereira. Pereira. Yeah, Mike yeah. Pereira. Say, well, Mike, you see that? That's not trippy. Well, you know, Troy, when you move your leg and you move it up, he's not even moving it up. He's falling forward. <laughs> that, that, like, Troy, I give it up to Troy, and Troy and Tony Romo, I would give it up to them. They do not coddle the Cowboys. They don't. Oh, they call it out. They call it out easily. That's what we are. As a Cowboy fan, it makes me so proud to hear both of my quarterbacks defend us when we need to be defended, and it's real bullshit. And this one, because I, ne- I barely hear Troy, outside of the good shit that we can do on the field, I barely hear Troy going to extra effort to talk about us. Oh, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, I'll say just this because, much. Just because Troy is like, well, three, three Super Bowls, what do you do? <laughs> oh, I'll say this much. I'll say this much. I don't know if you caught it. He was low-key throwing some shade at Garrett. Like, I don't know about this this thing here. Like, fourth down. Fourth down. I go for it. That's just me. I go for it. You know. Yeah, he was like, I don't know what, I don't know why Garrett did that. That's, you know, you could have easily got that with a run. Like, thank you. Thank you, Troy. <laughs> like, if, like, if Troy was a quarterback for the Dallas right now, he'll look at Garrett like, really, Garrett? We're running that play? All right. All right, cool. Cool. Gotcha. It'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be that time where Barry Switzer had that motherfucker throw for no goddamn reason. He cussed him out on the sideline. Oh, Troy to take that shit. I will get that to Troy. We all talk about Troy being a square-ass quarterback, oh, no, but that no. motherfucker wasn't. Well, he got pissed. He got oh, pissed. The, Swites, the Switzer era? Oh, he was fucking heated. It didn't, it didn't matter that they got into the playoffs and they won the Super Bowl. He, he got in his asses. In a, man. He couldn't stand Switzer, man. He hated that motherfucker. Oh, uh, and you know, basically that's because that's an old beat because Switzer didn't want his ass at Oklahoma or some bullshit like that, yada, 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 whatever. But yeah, yeah, anyway. AKA, that's Troy, a, Troy, AKA Troy Aikman is petty, and I respect that. Yeah, that's a pettiness that you can respect, man. But yeah, this is this has gone too far, man. No, wait, wait, wait. It's been gone too far, but real talk. I'm sick it's of rough week. ball. It's not even just Dallas. I think last week there was something that happened where it was like a pass interference that was like, yo, they didn't call that pe- What? What? No, no, that's what it was. It was Ra- wasn't it Raven? Yeah, Ravens, Texans. Blatant pass interference. Didn't call it. Didn't call it. Then there's nobody on them. Didn't call it. And then, like, you know what? I, because it's happening on our board right now, on 3 Back Geeks board, we had, people are going back and forth on that shit. Like, nah, no, nah, man, the refs, the refs are in account. Look, I get it's hard to be a referee. I mean, but... I get, I get, I get. There's a toughness to it, and then you can't, you can't get every call. That's not what I am saying. What I'm saying is, when it matters, they fail every time. Mm-hmm. They fail every time when it's clearly pass interference, and there's hundreds, and, and there's over ten thousand people in the stadium. Unless you're in the Redskins Stadium, and it's only get eighty-eight people. But shout, shout out to the Skins, man. Me and D probably could have went for like five hours each. I was off Sunday. I, I I think we should. It was raining though. No, that was ugly and raining. Yeah, it, was, I didn't it, was, it, was ugly. it was an ugly game, and then it got sunny at the end of the game, and I'm like, well, never mind. It got sunny. Fuck you. I wasn't gonna go to that. But anyway, let's still. But think about it. There, it's on the jumbo drawn. Everybody going boo boo, and you go to the next play. It's clearly up there saying that you're wrong. Yep. People in the stadium can see that you're wrong, and you mm-hmm. still go with. Sick. Like, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Again, I am not knocking the referees from being human. Yeah. I am not. What I'm knocking is that there's no responsibility within the referees' organization themselves. There's no responsibility within the NFL to correct any of this. It has been bad. It has been going bad for, like, what, almost like, what, we're getting close to 10 years it's been going down the tube, isn't it? Yeah, I mean between I mean between the playoff shit last year with the Saints, which was still to this day utter bullshit, Saints Rams, which I'm like, damn. So before that, when all the rest went on strike and they came back from strike and they didn't do nothing different. Oh, oh, oh. Lest we forget about five years ago, the infamous uh Seattle fucking uh, uh Green Bay game where it was like oh, touchdown twenty twelve. T- touchdown. I think that was an interception. T- touchdown. What's going on? 
And then it's like, I guess we give it to Seattle. And I'm like, no, you don't give it to Seattle. What do you, no, no, no. Oh. Yeah. And then, and then the one that sparked so many debates. Darius dropped it. Darius dropped it. He didn't drop it. He didn't, he didn't drop the ball. He didn't drop the ball. First down Green Bay. The nigga didn't drop the ball. What are you doing? <laughs> and then the following year, first game. Yeah, Dez didn't drop the ball. We made a mistake. And that that's the that's the salt in the wound that I hate the most where you just gotta sit there and just cross your arms like Okay. I guess. You know what, there you know and of course, and of course, the, the good teams, the the better players do not let that linger in their career. They keep on going, they keep oh, yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, I, I give Dak but, I give Dak I give Dak credit to the fact that like he he talked about it and he was like, Look, you know, we got Buffalo this week. There's no point in lingering on. It is what it is. The fuck can you do? Tony Romo, when that happened to him, Tony was just like, "I know what I did, and I know what happened. That was a, that was a touchdown." But you know what? <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, right. I, I, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. Flip yeah. side of that, though, Chris, I think that ruined Des Bryant's career. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, that that is a, that's a that's a. I'm not thing. even a Cowboys fan, and I can say that's yo, that men- messed that's, up. That, that, that is a mental thing right there, because you think about the fact that if he if it actually got deemed a first down down on that end and stuff, oh, Dez have been on cloud line like man, I'm the fucking shit. <laughs> you can't he would have. In the words of Deion Sanders t- on telling it to Kevin Smith, you know Kevin Smith ended up being shit. Dog, you could be the mayor of Dallas tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Because if Dez caught that, oh, you can run for governor tomorrow in Texas and win. Oh, well, my God. Anyway, let's go for the picks this week. Um, yeah, yeah, let's wrap the show. Yeah. Thanksgiving is uh, interesting because we got two division games and one non-division game. And uh, we got Bears-Lions up. Uh, starting to, starting to. I, I, look, 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 look. I don't know why you're even asking me this. Because the Bears are going to win that one. Bah, <laughs> uh, uh, sir, I'm going Lions because do you really trust Trubisky? Exactly. He is right, D. <laughs> Make a point, you son of a bitch. Um, D, D, what do we do? He's making a point. What do we do? Fuck no. Nah, nigga, Trubisky, bitch. I'm going to <laughs> Fuck you know about football? I love when people say that. You know I love when people say that? There's always an asshole you who, who clearly hasn't lift up a weight since high school. What you know about football? Chewing, chewing some double mint gum while talking shit. Man, I tell you what the Reds are doing wrong. Shut up, Jay. Jay, shut up, man. You don't know nothing about <laughs> the football. Smoke like 10 packs of cigarette a day? No, you don't know shit. Nah, nah, nah. I'm going to tell you why that nigga Jason Campbell a motherfucking pussy. I love <laughs> how... Kurt, hey, Denzel, no bullshit. That was the narrative in D.C. When Jason Campbell got hurt and got back up and played the game, he played hurt the whole game, right? Mm-hmm. Next day on the radio, everybody pretty much called him a motherfucking pussy. Denzel, can you imagine? I'm a cowboy. I'm the cowboy fan, and I'm defending Jason Campbell. Like, Jason Campbell got dogged out for no reason in D.C. He was a, it, was like, he was, he was a reliable quarterback, and it's just the, the area... Because that's just how the fan base is. They want results now, not mm-hmm. later. They want it now, and shit just wasn't going good. Even under um fucking um uh, what's his face uh Joe Gibbs. Yeah, Joe Gibbs. Joe when he came back, it was like eh, eeh. You know, it's just just the area just did not like him, and he oh, yeah. him out, and then you know he went to Oakland and shined until he, oh shit injured, and, you know. Uh-huh. That's, that's, that's what that's the sign he made when he got hurt. Then he, so, know, then, he, then, he went to, then he went to Chicago, thrived and ah, uh, you know, down again. And then he went to the Browns and just kicked up on money on the bench. No, 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 you said it wrong. He went to the Browns and just faded away. <laughs> hey, look, look. hey, Chris, I can say that. You know why I can say that? Because Miles Austin, who was a beast with us, went to end up going to us, and I forgot the other team he went to. Then he went to. To um, Cleveland and they're just turning, turning to dust. Then he came back to Dallas and he's like a wide receiver hey, coach. Hey, he's like a he like a coach now or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. I was like, oh, it's cool. We, cool. Anyway, this is, who you got in the game? Chicago or Detroit, man? I'm gonna go with Stafford. I'm gonna go with Stafford this time. Well, Stafford ain't playing. It's the backup that's playing, but he's been doing. Well, good. I'm going with Detroit because right. right. I don't trust Trubisky. Yeah, um, I get you. I get you. 
Um, Bills Cowboys. I'm going Cowboys. This should be a pretty Duh. interesting game. Um, question. The question was Denzel, who you go for the Bills? For the... <laughs> quick. Uh, I'm going with. I'm going with the Cowboys. Uh, quick pop. Quick. Uh, quick uh, trivia. Um, apparently. Um, uh, what's his face is uh, he's still rapping. Oh, Cole Beasley still rapping. Still, still, he had a second album on the way, and I'm like, Cole Beasley had a fur, had a full album already. Didn't know that. Interesting. Anyways, <laughs> um, Good Beasley man, he's making. Hey, look, look, real talk. I don't know how they do the announcements, announcing the teams and all that, but if they announce his name, I hope there's a standing ovation for him in Dallas because we look. To the Bills' we, credit, yo, to the Bills' credit, he's been a detrimental player for the Bills. Yes, he has. He has. He's been a rock for their receiver core, and I knew that he would. He's not. He's not a number one receiver. He's a slot guy, but he's been doing more than he should. Yeah. And good for good for Cole Beasley. I really hope when they say his name, that whole stadium is not booing. They are clapping. They are cheering for him. Yeah. I hope yeah. So. I really, because we loved him, man. We loved him. Yeah. There we go. Ahead. Um, <laughs> Saints Falcons. Um. <laughs> Why did you ask me this question? Oh, man, who that, man? I'm going with them. Mm, I want to say it's a trap, but that would be me just joking on that. Um, you yes. actually are thinking about it. You're thinking about Atlanta winning this thing, are you? Fuck it. Upset of the week, Falcons. Wow. wow. All right, this is who you got, man? Wow. Drew Brees is Jesus. All right. All right, cool. Um, no. Wrong, uh, Jesus. White Jesus. Let's get that right. <laughs> get your motors ready for the tank bowl. Uh, we, got the, we got the Bengals versus the Jets. <laughs> Nigga! <laughs> so here's a good question. What do you do when you have this type of situation? Oh, with, Andy, the with, with the convenience good. of Andy Dalton coming back for this game. I'm sorry, Andy Dalton is coming back. Stop it! You're yeah. making this game entertaining. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm going Ginger Power. Bengals. I want, I want Ginger the Bengals Power. To, no, I want the Bengals to win because this is going to be imp- Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Are we still? They're playing in, in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. They're playing in Cincinnati. I, no, no, no. I get it. No, I get that. But are we still in contention for having our mega super tank bowl? That's all I want to know. Wait a minute. The Dolphins won. How many games did the Dolphins win so far, man? Two. 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 We need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. (laughs) I need the the Bengals to at least win this one. I need the Bengals to win this one. So I'm going for the Bengals. I want my my tank bowl. I want my mega tank bowl, nigga. (laughs) Oh, let's go, Cincinnati. Let's go. Who who you got, Denzel? (laughs) Uh, I got... You know what? It sucks because I got Le'Veon as my running back, but fuck it. I'm going Cincinnati on this one. All right. Uh, cool, cool, um, cool. And <laughs> yeah? Who would you really pick for? Oh, the Jets, man. You know I like Sam Darnold. Come on now, man. <laughs> I'm not dumb here. He is a bum, but I love Sam Darnold. He is a bum, but uh, I like him. I mean, him. He'll, either be di- he'll either be big dick swinging that game or he's going to throw a dud. Oh, he's gonna throw a dud, man. He done nutted all up and he done shot up that club, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. this, motto, you. this might be an interesting game. Titans Colts. This is gonna be a point game, I think, in the I This think, is gonna um, be pivotal to see who's going to keep going for that wild card slot and who's gonna be done. I'm going for the Colts. I'm going, going Titans. Colts. I'm going with the Colts. I'm going Titans. They're a better they're just a better team. And I think they got more to lose than the Titans. The Titans, I think, are going to come out with a lot of fire. Ooh, I don't think they have it. I just don't think that the Titans have it in them to even make it to the playoffs. All right. Um, Eagles, Dolphins, I'm thinking better of it. I'm going Eagles on this one. Eagles. 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 There's, no even, there's not even a chance. Uh, speaking of which, Denzel, uh, that's your neck of the woods. How have the fans been, been, in, been in Philadelphia? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how has it been up there, man? Because I know they're about to eat each other, dog. <laughs> yeah, yep. you're just about right on that side. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're on the border. They haven't crossed the line yet. They're just waiting to see how this Dolphins game pans out before they start, like, hitting the panic button, like... Yeah, before they start cannibalizing each other like they do when oh. they have losing seasons. Oh, because oh, let me tell you, let me tell you something. If the Dolphins beat the Eagles... 
the Eagles fan base are going to lose their fucking minds. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, it will. Man. Okay, remember, that, remember that dude who, who helped the people out at Burning Fire and then threw shade at the fucking Eagles afterwards? Oh, yeah. I <laughs> oh, like Aguilar and his mishaps. Like Aguilar. Aguilar has lost them games at least five times this year. All the six games. I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him for that. I don't blame him for that loss where Wentz thought that Aguilar had, could turn like 180 that quick to oh, catch that the ball. Was, that was terrible. That was just terrible. I think Carson Wentz. I think he's really just. Fr- I think he's legit frustrated. Nothing is well, they're working right. out. I think you, you really pointed this out a couple of years ago. I think that injury kind of fucked with his head a little bit. It had, mm. it had. Oh yeah. Because he was doing very, very well, and it was the type of it was he was having the type of season a rookie should have. And yeah. it's and like it, Derek Carr. It's like Derek yeah. Carr. Like Derek see, Carr was killing it that one year, snap. and then he fell off, and then he's and then he's been trying to get back to that MVP like season that he had once. Yep. Yeah. Right about. Which Same I, thing with Carson Wentz. Carson was on the run, was about to be the MVP that one year. Gets injured, hasn't been the same since. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> Packers, Giants. I'm going Packers because, you know, they, they are totally not going to let Saquon Barkley be the one-man one man army against them. So, I'm going Packers. Yeah, I agree, Packers. Packers. Yeah. Um, Packers! Packers! Uh, the, uh, the rematch. Between these two teams, Brown Steelers. <sighs> mm. This is actually a good. This is going now, to be a good here's game. Here's the kicker. Right. Here's the kicker. Um, Mason Rudolph is not starting because uh, they took him out, so the Steelers are on their third string. Who's going to be playing? Hodges. Yeah, Hodges. Hodges, Hodges is playing. So Hodges is playing. Yeah, Hodges. Hodges. I just got to be real, y'all. This motherfucker talks like he went to one of those camps in the South to make you, you know, a normal person. Because they put a mic to that nigga's face. So, uh, so, uh, so, Hodges, how do you think about your last game? Well, you know, I just, I'd say that defense just kept coming at me. And I was like, oh, yeah. So, you know, I did a little bit of the scrambling. I just, I did a little shuffle pass over to Connor. He got a little touchdown off of that. I'm just glad he did. <laughs> yo, yo, did you see Tomlin when they asked him, yeah, so uh, what do you expect out of uh, Hodges? I expect them not to kill us. <laughs> okay. I'm going for the Steelers now. Thank you for that. So that, I had to go, Let's go, I had to, Ducky. I had to go to Steelers just off the strength of Tomlin saying that. I was like, yeah, yeah, Steelers. Yeah. Hey, look, 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 man, I think they're coming for it. I think they're coming for it. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Redskins Panthers. This is the battle of I'm looking at Riviera like, hey, Riviera, do not let the Skins, do not let Haskins have a game on your team. Please, for the love of God, do not let that motherfucker do that. Like, one of my favorite quotes, one of my favorite co- quotes from one of my favorite trans artists, stupid, I ain't gonna let you get the chance. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, Panthers, Panthers better win that game. You uh. better not let... You better not give Washington the hope. Don't do that. My Don't Myra, Myra, I can still see the chains. Your whole just <laughs> like a mom. <laughs> I can see, see the stay stupid. You just like your your slut, just like your mother. I died because I don't know whether that was real or set up. My girl was rocking all of that fat ass. And his. God, what if that was her dad? He's just looking at her. Who's this? Oh, God. Myra! <laughs> the fact that he said, you're a slut just like your mom. I'm like, dog, did you you married the mom. I'm, I'm assuming you're still married to her. It's like this. It's like this. It's like, it's like this. He know where he are. He already know where his... No, actually, no, 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 no. He ain't married to her. That's why he ain't with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my like, God. God. Damn. Anyway, go ahead. Um, um, yeah, I'm going Panthers, so there's that. Um, uh, next, 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 uh, next. The Battle of the Tanks, again. Um, the Bucks versus Jags. This is not Tanks, because the Bucks actually have a chance to do something. The, they don't got a chance. Let me make it very clear. The Bucks don't have a chance to make it in the playoffs, but they're trying to make an impression enough. I mean, so they, 
<laughs> Jameis is playing for his job, but he's still interception machine versus Big Dick Nick. So Jaguars might eat, possibly, maybe. I don't know. I hate myself. I'm going for Tampa. Mm, I'm going. Uh, oh, fuck. I know it's difficult, right? <laughs> it is. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Jacksonville. Yeah, I'm going Jags. Going Jags. Oh, uh, wow. And this is ironic that this is a 1 o'clock game, too. 49ers Ravens. They're playing in Baltimore. Ooh. I'm going Baltimore. They, true, I, game the, true game of the week. I'm going, I'm going Baltimore. Baltimore. I'm, going Baltimore, going with Baltimore? Because, I'm going Baltimore because I need Baltimore to punch the 49ers in the mouth just to bring them back, back down to earth a little bit. Just a little bit. I was just, I was just, I was just about to say, I was like, who's getting punched in the throat this time? I don't think the – listen, here's the thing. The Ravens have already proven to me that they can lose. It's just that they're on a fantastic winning streak. It's just the 49ers, on the other hand, I know they're not that good. It's like, their defense has been – the good. defense has been what's got them in the games. But, like, when we saw them play Seattle, Russell Wilson was still lighting their asses up. Like, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, um, so yeah I'm sure. going Ravens on that one. Um, mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go Ravens on I'm that gonna one. I'm going to call this a trap game for the Rams. Rams got to play the Cardinals. I'm going Cardinals on this one. The Rams better win, so I'm going for the Rams. Mm. They have to I, win. Mm. If they got any chance, they're going to have to win. And I got them winning it. Oh, side I'm going to go with... Oh, go ahead. Let's see. Huh. I'm, going, I'm going Rams. Yeah, side note. Did you catch... Sassy ass Jalen Ramsey talking shit to the fucking Ravens after the game. I'm like, dog, you lost. Like, back off. Like, Jalen is proving my point. You were one good year. You're proving my point. Stop it. I was like, dog, I get it. You got smoked. Chill. Like, come on. Like, what do you? You have one good season, dog. Stop talking shit. You are proving my point. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. I'm hoping that they win. Chargers Broncos. I got the Chargers. Chargers. I like punishment. I have been rooting for the Broncos all year. I am <laughs> not excuse. This is not not just sliding into. It's just that the the Broncos are like you know that girl. You know that one girl that we all know that that, that doesn't have a fetish. She has a bit of a fetish for ugly dudes, <laughs> only because I think they're adorable because they look kind of old. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the, the Broncos are not good. They are <sighs> not good. But they're cute, guys. Look at I them. Mean, they're playing, they, the player, the team clearly showed that they did not like Joe Flacco because they're actually playing a little bit better when he's not yeah, there. So. They're playing much better without him. But even then, they still suck. So, like I said, I, I'm going for the Broncos. I, I, they got to win this game. They got right. to. Right. They got to. Um, <laughs> I lose so bad. This, oh God! Lose. Now, now, would you guys believe that this is a very pivotal game? This next one, Raiders versus the Chiefs. Raiders it, are literally this, Raiders are six and five. Chiefs are seven and four. Raiders win this one. They're tied with the Chiefs. This is going to be a big game. Ain't no way in the world Oakland going to win it though. Being real, second Oakland's upset not. of the week. Oakland. Ah, I can't go for that. KC's winning. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going with my homeboy. All right. All right. I, I get it. I understand. I, look, look, Oakland's my number two team, and I can't even go for them, so no. All right. Mm -hmm. um, this could be an interesting game, especially coming off of the Dallas game. Patriots-Texans. It's not going to be interesting because the Patriots are going to win that one. Yeah. Pedro is going to easily win that one. I'm I just going, know they are. I'm going Texans. Yeah, I know. Bitter. I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's a quarter bitter, but it's also a quarter. The Patriots, going to, Patriots during this run, they're going to get punched in the mouth, and I think the Texans are going to do it. Yeah. I think, you know, I, I agree with you. I agree with you, but they're not winning. They need one more punch in the mouth before they win the rest of the games. They just need one more, just because. That's just how it is. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going with the Pats. I'm going with the Pats, even though I think they're going to get punched one more time before making it to the Super Bowl and losing in the Super Bowl. I think that, yeah, 
Man, I got him going to the bowl, but not winning it. Um, this is the game that might prove D right on um, Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Why can Seahawks? I'm going Seahawks. I'm going actually for Minnesota in this. Oh, I think you Minnesota. Bastard. I yeah, I know, I know, and that was no, that was that that was not me clipping you. The NFL, that was actually a clip. But look, <laughs> you know, but no, I really think Minnesota got this one. I really do. So I'm oh, going for Minnesota. Uh, I don't know. Uh, mm. 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 I'm still sticking Seahawks with that one. Yeah. I, I'm going with Russell. I turned the hoe into a housewife, Wilson. Are we, are we really going to sit there and really talk about Russ throwing shade at Future every day? <laughs> are we really doing yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, Future, I got a question. How does it feel jerking off to only Megan the Stallion in that clip and not your ex-wife? I mean, that's your ex-girl, your, your, your baby mom. How that feel, nigga? <laughs> Bro, man, like, look, look. I was laughing at that, but at the same time, I was laughing, and I don't know whether this is just a black people thing, but, like, I'm laughing at all the black women was like, man, I wish I had knees like Megan and Sierra, and I'm like, what you don't know is that both of them soaked themselves in Epsom salt after that, because that shit did not go the way it went. Know, and I thought what you don't know is that Megan could probably lift up 600 pounds with her leg. Look, hey, look, you guys might agree with me on this one. Megan looked like she might fight a nigga, too, if they touch her the wrong way. Yeah, yep. Megan. Megan looks like she's a combination of a girl that will fight, and also a girl. If you were, if, if you're a girl, you're about to. If if I was a girl looking at a girl, I can take that bitch. Yeah, she ain't, come on, she, <laughs> she she pretty and tall. Why y'all acting scared of her? She just pretty and tall. Dio shoot for like, the legs first off the break. Just like nope, shoot for the legs. Uh, Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Duh. Meanwhile, every other chick is trying to go straight up with her, and I'm like, you guys are idiots. Oh. I- no box with it, man. No box with it, dog. <laughs> you gonna do that? Shit with it. I think. Look, look like this. Even though I don't think Megan can fight, I think she she has enough in her where she <laughs> she punched down at a bitch. <laughs> I, I really think that she. I really think that she's a sucker puncher. That's all she's good at. Just hitting somebody with that one good left and like, woo. Yeah, that was good. Like, that was that, great. <laughs> You will wash her the entire fight. Just pit. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Stop. Chico, get up. Get up. Stop fighting. Stop fighting, y'all. Stop. Pika, get up. <laughs> all the niggas, oh, all the dudes, yeah. we got our cameras up. Oh. <laughs> oh, um, we also have to put this out here. Uh, Lewis Hamilton. Uh, yeah. won the uh, F1 race. Right. Huh? My boy. Yeah, Lewis, and uh, he's been kicking ass this season. He uh, won three titles in a row, and he's about to, I think it's, uh, I forgot the white dude that's that's leading uh, most victories and stuff. He's about to sneak up and actually take that title. Well, now, now, see, I never really looked it up. I always thought it was Andretti that had the number one spot. I don't think it's Andretti, is it? It's probably it's somebody else. It's somebody else, but, but yeah, he, he, yeah, Hamilton's, he's Hamilton. Sneaking. Yeah. Him and his brother, are, first off, him and his brother are beasts. Yeah. But, yo, I, the only reason why I want the F1, for, the F1 uh, video game is just because he's on the cover. Oh, so you like me when I bought the NHL game and Homeboy was on the front cover. I just bought it just because. Like, hey. What's the for the, um, for the Predators? I know what yeah, you're talking yeah. about. I was like, hey, mm-hmm. like excellence. I get that. <laughs> for me, yeah, for me. I don't. It's weird for me because it's only weird for me in the sense of this because NASCAR is just so enclosed when it comes to race. You don't see many of us on the spotlight. One is like international. Shout out what? to Bubba. I mean, shout out to Bubba. Yeah, we we're there. We're there. And hell, some of us and and y'all two seen this coming up too. We, you might see one of us in a pit crew now and then, but we didn't do nothing. You know what I mean? I mean. <laughs> I think because I think because F1 racing is so international. Is that's the main thing? I think it was a little bit. And look, I hate going this route. It's a little bit easy. He's light skinned. It that worked for him too. Well, well, well D. Uh, also, also D. Also D. You forget uh, he's Canadian, so there's that too. So you know. It was English. Oh, oh yeah, he's was... Brit. yeah, he's Brit. My bad. Sorry. I'm, I'm thinking was some, it was somebody else that was. It was somebody else that's like Formula One that was like Canadian. I forgot who it was. But the point is, the point is. Me seeing a black man on the cover of a racing game, not just this year. He's been on the cover of F1 since 2016. Yeah. 
because it's the face of Formula One racing. So, and this dude, the whole, and the one thing I love about him is that while he's not overly black, he tells you off the brick, oh, I'm a black, I'm a black dude. I'm black. Yeah, I, there was an interview where he was like, when he first... Brian, interview with him and Brian Gumbel. Mm-hmm. Really, got it. Because yeah, there's a sense of pride. There's not many people that look like me out here. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So loved it, man. I fuck with that nigga since then, man. It's, and that's the only reason why I want to buy the fucking game. Oh no, don't get don't get it twisted. You know that game will probably sell like hotcakes just because of that. I'm like, hey, I, hey, look, that makes so much sense. I, hey, fuck it. What are you gonna do? You know that's. That's that's something that's a big deal. Like I said, I like I said, coming off of watching Ford versus Ferrari, like I'm like amped up seeing this kind of shit. So it's like, yes, this is awesome. Doing that for a while now. Anyway, um, is that it? Yes, yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, thank everybody for jumping on live on Twitch. Oh, and this. real quick, oh, shout yeah. out to uh, shout out to uh, to uh, Wilder. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Wilder. Uh, Deontay for knocking Ooh, the sweat yeah. out of Homeboy. Ooh. Oh man, yo, he knocked the oh, soul out of homeboy, dog. Sweat left it. That the way the sweat left that nigga's head. You ever, yo, you know what? I'm surprised nobody's done this. Yo, the second he hit that nigga, I was waiting for that thing to hit like a little final, like the jump of Final Fantasy VII, like punch. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Bro, he was down for the count, like. <laughs> Shit. Yo, ha David won the no war for me because when he punched him, you heard that pig squealing. <laughs> guard, guard. That motherfucker was like, yo, this nigga, he, he like, what the fuck is him? Nah, big fella, stay on the ground. <laughs> you are like, no more. He like, yo. I man, look, Wilder has proven to me in two fights that nobody's fucking with him and that he is truly the big fish in the small palm when it comes to the heavyweight division. Oh, yeah. uh, it sucks that he is the only freaking nature in that division, man. Yeah. Because, and even the dude he was fought wasn't no pushover, but come the fuck on. The way he took on Tyson, the way he took on this nigga, I mean, took on this nigga, man. It's the same thing, man. Even though that fight with Tyson Fury was bullshit, how they gave it a draw. No, whatever. But look, oh, still, what did I shout outs to Wilder's uh, MJ-inspired uh, outfit that he wore after the, after the, uh, during the presser, that was great. <laughs> also, shout out to Wilder for his uh, his coolers uh, cosplay approaching <laughs> the ring. Bruh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I saw that. I go. Let me find out he a, D, a DBZ fan. Yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you, be... Are you, hey man, you like Dragon Ball to this day? Like, to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> Hey, hey, that Why dude, he's, he's up on the intensity there, my guy. Intensity, <laughs> though? Do you like Gohan, nigga? Fuck no! <laughs> it's Team Beerus all day, nigga. <laughs> Look, digger than him, he's like every other basic-ass black nigga. Who's, who's your favorite person? Vegeta, nigga! Of course it is. Well, <laughs> I, know, I gotta admit, man, Wilder does look like he got Vegeta tendencies with the anger, so, you know. Possibly. I feel like he got a tattoo of Vegeta on him somewhere. We just haven't found it yet. It's on his ankle. That's always on his ankle? Come to find out, we see him really below his waist right before you get to his dick line. There's like a tattoo. Is that a, is that a tail yeah right around me, man? What, you want like Dragon Ball, motherfucker? <laughs> Calm down. Second of all, why are you naked in front of me, man? <laughs> <laughs> Big dick energy, man. Big dick energy. Um. To the stick. To the stick. <laughs> hey, man. That was some black man in history. I love that. Anyway, <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> Anyways, we're out. We're done. Thanks. Let it.